G'day everybody and welcome back for some more underground, not really alone because you guys are here being a menace when you want to be. Because <laughs> we're back with more Space Engineers Twitch integration shenanigans. Uh, as this is my final stream of 2023, I thought it would be fun to do something where you guys can wreak havoc upon whatever's going on with some added havoc provided by chipsticks that may show up in the list of uh, polls for you guys to do things. <laughs> so that should be fun. Uh, assuming that the thing is working. There we go. It's working. A new poll has begun. Do you help or hinder? Ah, oh, good. Nev's here. Perfect. So if I break things, he might be able to tell me how to fix them. Uh, one of the things I really wanted to do with this base was actually make it into something of a base. Like, <laughs> something that's actually nice. And last time, I did manage to start to put down some lighting, at least in one of these tunnels. I think I might match that lighting around the place and try and, try and make it so we can see a little bit more. Make this place feel a bit more like home. I hope. Uh, just gonna clear out that because that just feels like I'm gonna run into it at some point. Yep. And thank you so much, them Stardust, for the ten gift subs before I'd even properly started, and when my stream title was still wrong. <laughs> thank you so much. And thank you, Zero Nut, for the Prime Sub. Thank you, Crassus, for 23 months. Thank you, Crazy Irish, for six months. Oh, 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 oh. I think some rockets might be back. Uh, great. <laughs> thank you, Alchemist, for the Prime Sub, and my selfie as well. All right. With that background noise, uh, let's build a battery. Uh, we'll go for this one next. I'll start by building the lights into the ceilings on each of these entryway bits. And then... That will hopefully help me inform where I'm going to put some other stuff around the place. Gravel. Yes. And is why my assembler isn't making anything. Got. Alright. <laughs> now I can make a bottle, and then I can go outside, which is what I was just thinking of doing. See if I can get to that chat thing before it gets shot up. Hello? Why won't you make me a bottle? Things? Why is it? Huh? What? Hello? Why are you continuing to make the power cells, you silly thing? Imagine if water was available and we flooded you. That would not be great. Um, could be amusing though. I don't, I, I feel like it'd just, <laughs> I feel like having the cave flood would feel very much like having the sim speed drop to 0. 0.6. Fuel low. I feel like that would be very similar experiences. Everything just slows down and you're just pushing through molasses. Boom. Okay. 
Now, it, no, it wasn't miss, the bottle wasn't missing any items, it was, for some reason, still just printing off the other stuff that contained the same things. It was just weird. Alright. I remember if I checked last time, how long the battery was going to last with the power, with the light on. Two years, okay, yeah. Float light. Yeah, I think if I I think if I manage to get a, no, a number of batteries down each of these cave entrances, this is going to work pretty well. Uh, I'm not going to bother with an anti interior turret on that one because that cave's really really long. Uh, I might put a turret towards the outer end rather than here. But I think my goal today should be try to get some surface mounted weapons. Hopefully, in between attacks by the bad guys. I can do that. This has already been shot up a little bit. What you got for me? Ah, oh, I think the goodies are shot up. Whatever was in this is gone. Oh. Oh, let's get rid of the beacon. Goodbye, beacon. Indeed. Fear Seeker, that, that is indeed a thought. Chipsticks made, worm mod, these looks like worm caves. Hmm. Ooh, maybe this is today's fresh one. Oh, well, it's loot still. Whatever its loot is, which is <laughs> the most useless thing ever for me right now. Solar panels, cells, things. Delightful. So yeah, I want to make I want to make my underground space feel like a home, but I also want to try and take back take control of the surface a little bit. Uh, which means I th think what I need to do is collect enough magnesium that I can afford to throw away a bit of ammo. Uh, so I can build some turrets on the surface. And not worry too much about them getting destroyed. Like, I might start with a couple of turrets by each tunnel entrance, because those will have limited arcs of fire, but the that means also means the drones have a limited arc of fire to them as well. Thanks, NukeWorld. Thank you for 36 months. Three years. How was my upside-down Christmas slash summer holiday? Uh... Pretty good, actually. There was a there was a one little unfortunate thing uh, that happened, uh, which was um, Toby slightly got uh, Toby's uncle was carrying him and tripped, and Toby's lip got hit against the back of a chair and split, and much pain and crying, as you would expect. Uh, He's good now, but that that was a bit of a downer, but everything else was pretty good. Thanks, Ironborn. Thank you for 27 months. That was that was the only real but everything else was <laughs> everything else was good. And Toby was uh, very much enjoyed his first Christmas dinner lunch thing. Uh he very much enjoys ham. Which means we have to very much control how much it is, how much he gets of it. Is that much salt for someone that little? Eesh. Um, okay. What am I doing? I am probably... Let's 
Is that Thresh dead? Nope. Okay. I need that Thresh to go away so I can go and drive to the Magnesium Mine and go pick up some more. Because I don't have much yet. Yeah, I've only got 20-ish. Um, hmm. Alright, let's do some more lighting then. Uh, they don't run out of bullets. So, if it's not shooting, it there could be a lot of reasons. Um, usually it doesn't see a target. But all of these have to be centered on the roof. I do some crooked lights. Let me try this. Thanks, Echo Mond. Thank you, Balbacoso. Thank you for the Prime Subs. And. I guess I should. Um, I think the ceiling might be too high up for me to get light to the surface, the light to the ground without using spotlights, so we might have to see how much area of spotlight lights up. But yeah, I think light this area and then start making this a bit of a home. Waiting for an opportunity to rush out, grab some magnesium, and then I'll start building some turrets on the surface. Artistic, rustic, wonky lighting. Yes. Exactly. I mean, there's only that one drone up there. Maybe I might. Maybe my fighter could take it. Let's give it a go. Probably should have replaced the missing turret on this, but oh well. Done now. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh. May have to do a copy paste of my grid. So they are again not shooting. Oh, wait, did it crash and sh destroy its weapons? Gonna have to copy paste and see if this fixes it. Yep, fixed it. There we go. she goes. And another one's coming in. But hanging small grid lights from the roof with mag plates. Um... Yeah, I suppose I could do that, but I'd have to build some sort of, like, little rig to mount them up there. And they only, they only illuminate 10 meters, so it's a bit less, but I'll have a look at it. I'll have a look at it. Whoa, that's a lot of paint. Whoa, that was a lucky hit. Holy cow. I must have hit the remote with the first shot. I'm going to try and take out this base and then I'm clear to go get some magnesium because we've had weird success. Yeah, oh, come on. I'm thinking more like a small flying platform is the way to go. Let's deal with this one so quickly. 
Can you lucky? Oh, I'm shooting at the base. There we go. Man, this thing is so much more effective when it's actually shooting. Oh, I think I might be out of ammo. Oh no. Oh, I want to check my ammo, but I can't do it while. <laughs> oh, get shot at. Yep, I'm out of ammo. Okay, I'm bound. That is. Oh, it got the drone of the last magazine. <laughs> yes. All right. I think I might just chance going for the magnesium without dealing with that base. Oh, I've got some good projects to do. Grab the magnesium first. Hopefully don't get shot on the way home. Look over at chat and realize what you guys just called in and have no idea where that's going to land. Great. Yeah, this thing's being weirdly effective. I was given a couple of suggestions of things that I should do to remodel this. And one of them makes a lot of sense, because um, it would be a remodel to make it like one of my most evil drones that I ever put into ACS at one stage. Uh, which is to put the turrets on the side and to... Yeah, basically put the turrets on the side instead of the bottom. Because if the turrets are on the side, they can still shoot up, they can still shoot down. But they can also shoot... They can do both. It's just they can only shoot to one side, which is usually not a big problem. Um, I had a drone a while ago that was in ACS uh, that was similarly set up and it was one of the worst things to fight because it had such good coverage with its angles of fire. I don't know why the guns don't shoot all the time. Is this... Please tell me this is empty. No! It's full! Wish I'd realized that before. To empty everything out. I don't have a connector for this yet. Oh. Forgot that I got medical components. Where did I get those from? Does anyone remember? Remember where I got the med com- Oh, I got one of the, uh, raider pods. That's right. One of the raider pods had landed and I was able to get its prior pods, which gave me just enough med components that I could build a med bay. Rather than a survival kit once I make this place more of a home. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Not sure why my handbrake still shows us on. There we go. Little standard IT fix. Fixed it. Yeah, 3.62 gates. I hope I can fill this up before something nasty comes my way. Whoa, whoa, whoa.
Because it seems like every time I've managed to get close to the magnesium on previous runs, you guys have spawned something in just, just soon enough to really mess up my plans. I want to see if I can be quick enough this time that that doesn't happen. At least let me get a couple of uh, handfuls of magnesium. The robot raider pods could be anywhere along this path because I was flying out this way. Please don't be at the magnesium mine. Boxer! <laughs> Thank you so much for the 10 gift subs! Oh, no, not a chat hole now. No, no, let me get there first. I think I already dug down to the magnesium, so at least that's going to speed up my processing here. Huh? Which side did I park on? This one. Ow! My face! Hand mining and a robot. Always the quickest way to get resources. One of the reasons I'm staying away from building a flying miner, even though I kind of could, is just because I feel like it's um that's the easy solution here. If I went with that. I'd have so much so much to start off with that I wouldn't get that feeling of progress. So I have left most of this at vanilla kind of settings. Jeez. If I dive down one of these mining shafts and found just death bots at the bottom, Inventory that would be very full. annoying and hilarious at the same time. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Emotional support package while I'm mining. I am so glad that wasn't a drone. Ow. I don't think I'm going to have any face left by the time I get through this trip. I'm trying to do this too quickly. How to implement Gigasaur Blades. I guess you could make a drone that's shaped like a saw blade. That um, just has guns pointing out in all directions and it just shoots and spins. That would be the SE equivalent of a Giga Saw Blade that wouldn't be horrifically awful for performance. Think that'd be the best option? <laughs> wouldn't bounce though, but you have an idea. Um. Yeah, I think anything that bounces would be problematic performance-wise. And not in the, oh, it'll be alright, we can we can have a couple of these, but in the, oh, this is completely broken the game sort of way. Inventory full. Uh, Miss Holiday, there are a few special mods in this. Uh, one major one, thanks to Nev, which is the Twitch control stuff. Uh, and I have some unique spawns of my own designing and some of Chipstick's designing <laughs> that can be called upon. What's my building this up? 
Deck is full. One target container is almost full. All right. Just keep going. Keep going till I run out of hydrogen or until something nasty comes my way. Yeah, is that ricoch ricochet for ammo? I could ramp that up to 11 and make an absurdly large projectile model. Actually, yeah. Okay. I can see that working, you fall. I can see that working. That's horrifying. And the projectile would have to take no voxel damage? Inventory full. So it... Hmm. Thanks, Elsie's Duck. Thanks for dropping the link to Theros, the planet. Uh, the reason not to make a rover minor is that this mine hole is like 150 meters deep. It is too deep for a practical mining vehicle that could fit down the tunnels that go to my base. Because uh, you'd need 15 large grid pistons stacked to reach this. Inventory Which is kind of insane. A little too much. Oh, Raider Pod! Oh dear. Oh dear. Ow, ow! Seventeen health. health. Critical. If I stand behind this tree for long enough, my health will go up. Ah! He knew my secret. Well, that was a more successful fight against them as well. Grinders in the front of my truck to take down the bots. Huh. Interesting thought. Where's that emotional support package? Let's go grab that while I'm out here. I think when I was setting this up... Oh yeah, definitely. I remember when I was setting these, um... Packages up. They were for scrapyard, so they were trying to be pretty stingy with the components that they had. Um, I could probably modify or add some. Oh no, there's a bad, bad thing coming in. Okay, bye. Where's my rover? Drive, 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 drive. <laughs> oh dear, already under fire. Gotta get this magnesium home. Treat. Bye, treat. Oh! <laughs> oh man. I'm so gonna get hit as I slow down to get into the cave. Invisi tree. Fine, fine. 
on, come on, come on. Speed and serpentine. That's all I got. Oh, 1.2 k's away from me. I've made some distance. Not enough! Cave was manually crafted using voxel hands by me. Uh, because I wanted an underground starting thing, so I was like, oh yeah, I'll just make this. Takes some time doing that. Safe. Safely home with my magnesium supply. Got a few loads. That wasn't too bad. It's actually my best. I reckon that's my best run yet. Now that we've had a bit of drama, I can have a bit of calm as I hear explosions above my head and I try and build a home. Someone should make a mod that spawns hostile drones every time Splitzy kills a tree. That would actually be amusing. <laughs> that would actually be kind of funny. Um, I'm just thinking about how much of an impact that would have had in something like Wrong Way Up. Every single tree I hit, something nasty appears. Ooh. Yeah, attacks. Oh man, the slaughter. Exactly. It'd be it would have been horrific. Oh, some of those sound real close. Feel so much closer when the fragments come down through the ceiling. Yes, eco terrorist drones, exactly. <laughs> uh. Okay. Magnesium's on there. Let's finish off this tree in the third. And then I'll think about... And I'll put some, some in the ceiling as well. Uh, the drones have made a mess of the mountain and I have not cleaned it up between sessions. Yet. Uh... I had plans to do that, but I just have not had time in between streams to do cleaning up and maybe do a little bit more voxel hands work around the cave system, make it a bit bigger, that sort of thing. Uh, it takes some time to do the voxel handsing stuff. Okay. We have light on there. Now. Ceiling light. I'm going to do another big battery up there. And stick a spotlight on it and see how it goes. Not convinced it's going to be very effective. I think it'll be quite a narrow field from the spotlight. See. Uh, 
don't think a search a searchlight has a more narrow beam than spotlight. I think. Although that could be me. Although I've got my because I think I've got my searchlight mod on this, so it will definitely have a more narrow beam. Searchlight that follows me around. I've never managed to get one of those to work properly. Uh, because targeting friendlies. I mean, I guess in this situation it should. I've mostly tried it in multiplayer. Um, but in this situation I guess it should work because I could just set it to target characters. The characters and not worry about anything else and then it should be fine. We'll see how this spotlight goes. Hopefully it provides some moderate illumination. Turn off my lights. It's not horrible. Decent. Like, it's a decent cone. This is me with my suit lights off. Yeah, if I build a few of them up there, I'd probably... I suppose it could work. Now let's just extend this out and get some more stone. Probably get my health back too, that's not a bad idea. Some of these really do sound much closer than I know they are. Time to... Time to do some decorations. How do I actually want to build this base? I think... What I might start with... Some sort of... Hmm... I don't know. I'm really not sure how to approach this thing. I had some ideas, but I'm, I'm looking at the cave now and I'm like, they don't really work. Like, I was going to make sort of a little hut with its own roof and stuff down here, but I'm just kind of looking at it going, I'm not sure how that would work here. I guess one of the things I could probably start by doing is building some sort of scaffold that runs over the ceiling. Because then I can put a bunch of spotlights up there. And then I could... Then I can start using that as a bit of a framework for... How to shape this. But my... My giant drill rig expansion area is um, kind of throwing me off a bit. I, I don't want to build a... Uh, a block based deck for the floor uh, I spent a lot of time getting these voxels to be pretty level <laughs> and they're a lot more drivable than uh, blocks so I don't really want to mess with that I should probably start by making a little garage area for this rover so I've got somewhere to park it I will begin with that. And I'm thinking this whole existing base will have to go. So I'm not yeah, I'm not gonna align to it, I think. 
Over here. So if we go from, say, here. Yeah, walk walk up a, a half block of stairs to get in, into something that's a human height. Will work. Yeah, the rocket drones are certainly making an impact on the surface, but they're not they're not too bad. Uh, there's a large they're hitting over a fairly large area, so it takes them it's going to take them an epically long time to dig through. Thankfully. At least I think it's thankfully. <laughs> Two, three. How tall is that? So it only needs to go up there. Still be able to. Yeah, I haven't I haven't blocked off any of the tunnel access ways, which is why I kind of want to put the lights on them. So I figured if I put the lights on the tunnels, I would not forget where they are. I want to make this entryway easy to get into. Yeah. Something like that. They started my rover garage. Cut those two out and get. Oh. My hot bars are not set up how I, how I normally have them. Let's fix that. Lights. Then I want catwalks. And that. That on two, so I need. That one. And what else do I normally put on three? I don't recall. What am I likely to use a lot of here? Uh, we'll put that there. Okay. So what I was thinking of doing was grabbing these. Go graded half stair there. And then I wanted to put that catwalk there. There. And then I want to go the half one. No. I have to put, my, put the end one on this. Oh, it's not exactly what I was imagining. It's, it should still be fine. Fuel critical. Just wanted a nice little cutout set of stairs on the side of the hangar here, on the side of the garage, so that's how I'll walk up and get inside. Something that's a little bit different to what I normally do. And then down in the back here, I can put like a little storage bay. So I can put a cargo container in here. So I've got access to cargo within the area here, and then I can pipe it up and around. That should work. Thank you, Shadow! <laughs> Thank you so much for two years. And all the everything else. Uh, Zuriel, the problems I've had with the searchlight uh, tracking players are weird. Um, as in, they often ended up tracking the wrong thing or tracking grids that we wanted or not tracking grids that we wanted. 
basically they're just fine doing what you would need to make them useful and so I just like eh this is too hard why is that not okay which bit of this is floating free now and how Oh man, how? How have they... Separated. Urgh. They should snap and re... They should re-snap to each other and I don't know why they didn't. Very weird. Strange. Fuel critical. Yeah, this, this is just ambient noise. It's fine. Oh, it feels so good to actually build something that I think that I'm thinking of as a proper as the proper base. Uh, in terms of texture, though, I might change things up. With not water on, but I go battered because we're underground in a mine. Oh right, that's right. Yes, I did not expect this to paint <laughs> and color the uh, the build states. I thought this only made the build state texture, but apparently it's painting it too. My assembler did make my bottle, but then I didn't fill the bottle again. So I keep just filling up my suit. I should probably do that. Um, Alright. So I've got a bit of this. I want to make sure that I've got a connector at the back end. down there. Nectar go in front of that. I'm going to lose this wind turbine now. And I'm possibly going to move to uh, purely hydrogen powered stuff. Maybe. See how game I am to do that. Shadow, I'm not used to seeing coloured scaffolding either. You, how, how weird do you think this feels to me after the number of hours I've played? That is your mod, The Fool. It is indeed. It is something I have got in pretty much all of the saves that I'm playing lately, but just haven't actually... Somehow it hasn't shown up. I think because we build so little in assertive acquisitions. Uh, as in from with scaffolding most of it's um printed think think that's the way it is as in we build so little that ends up with scaffolding on it and I think Capac and TFE both build in non-textured stuff most of the time, so we don't see it. But yeah, it's been in, it's been in that save for ages. Well, this is going to make the scaffolding a lot easier to see, so I don't have to weld it all up as I go. I'm going to weld up these stairs though. It's going to make me feel better.
Yeah, the fool made the um the textured build states mod. It is such a thing that should be vanilla. Just think of the like it adds so much potential to design without really changing anything significant about how the game plays. It would just be great. Thanks, Ariak. Thanks so much for the gift sub. Uh, oh, that's what I should have had on. Three. Door. Uh. Can I inset... Inset this one block? That way? Steel pipe. All right, I probably shouldn't build too much before I actually move onto this new structure and start getting power to it. I should think about adding some batteries early on. Side on this. What I'm thinking is, do I want to have catwalk along the back of this garage area, or do I want to have that be a solid wall? And a very loud bird. I think I'm going to put a door here. And then maybe a corner armory in this spot. Or a passageway. Deal with that after. Alright, batteries. Need to put at least a few batteries in here, so... I might put some along the wall. I build a bunch of batteries early on. I'm not going to run out of power anytime soon. Yeah, that one. Power simple. Don't need to worry about air tightness. Just build these two here for now. Hey Trojan. Yeah, the turbines are something that you would still want to have, not completely get rid of the safety, but... I mean, am I really optimizing for safety here? Other than being underground, that's not really my goal. Pressure's still up there. It's not want to go away. start playing Space Age 2014? I think I bought it. Been a while. Actually, I should look up when my when I did buy Space Engineers because I think my 10 years with it will be soon approaching. I feel like it was May... 2014 or something like that. Probably try and organize to do something special on that. How many hours? Uh, nearly 5,600, I think. Uh, where's Stain? 5,550. There you go. Only a few.
Yes, five more hours and I'm not allowed to play it anymore because I'll have 5,555. And waiting for stuff. What? Ow. <laughs> oh, you fall, you're so mean. Something special you say, like a theme park or something. I really did think I was going to be able to get that to a state of almost completeness before I reached um, 100,000 subs on YouTube. I really did think that was going to happen. It did not, but I really did believe it at the time. Oh well. That's life. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to look up my purchase history on Steam, which I'm not gonna do on stream. Um, <laughs> there's nothing embarrassing in there, apart from the number of things in there. Also, I don't know if any other information is displayed on that screen. I can't remember. But I'd have to look up my purchase history to see exactly when I bought it. Yeah, I actually kind of like that idea. Trying to find out exactly the date and see if it lines up well enough to do a special stream that day. And before anyone suggests it, no, I am not going to play the original version of Space Engineers that day. At least I don't think I would. Well, maybe have a look at it, but not play it the whole way through. There's a reason we play the new, the up-to-date current version. It's better. No. Uh, if you have Deluxe Edition, you can play the original version of Space Engineers. Uh, it's just one of the branches that you can play. Because you can play all sorts of different branches of Space Engineers. Now that I've got this idea, I can actually try and work through something that could be fun. That's not just me living through 10 years of nostalgia on stream, which is... It sounds pretty awful. Especially for anyone who wasn't around for any of it. It sounds like being forced to sit through somebody's um, holiday slideshow. A la the... Like the Selma and, um... Oh, man. What was Marge's other sister's name? Style... Slideshow. How long have been? it's been since I thought about that? Patty! Thank you. That was gonna bug me something fierce. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking, I'll say. Like, interesting for a couple of minutes, just to see where the game was and where it is now, but... The game was pretty empty at release, even compared to the state it is now. There wouldn't be a lot to do. <laughs> Uh, no. Space Engineers did not have planets. Had... 
think it... I may be misremembering, but I think it had three, five, or seven asteroids. World size wasn't even unlimited yet. Thanks, Bartman. Thank you for 15 months. How did I meet Kapak? Uh, woodworking at high school was how we became friends. We knew each other before then, but we became friends when we had woodworking class together. In year eight. Yeah, see, I can, I can see maybe loading up a game that was um, that you start with the old lander or something like that as a way to get the nostalgia hit without having to play the old version. Energy that could work. Low. Uh, in Australia and in much of the world, unlike the US, there is no such thing as middle school. It is primary school and high school. Um, I think middle school is largely a North American thing. Not much seen elsewhere, but I'm not sure on that. Do a crashed red ship start. Oh man, I did the crashed red ship so much. I used to play that all the time. So cute, high school sweethearts. <laughs> something like that, Nico. World, something like that. Yeah, that was that was how Kapak and I got to know each other. Not doing woodworking when we were supposed to be. Crash Red Ship does have its OP elements, that's true. But it was the best it was the best kind of survival start that we had back then. Because everything else was just, oh, you've got this pod that has everything you need. And it's organized. And it functions. It flies. It does all the things. It's like, what do I do? What have I got to do with it? Woodwork at school was the best survival start? Uh, yeah, probably. I, I definitely learned some things in that class, in those classes that are still useful to me today. <laughs> like when I was modifying the um, table that I'm trying to set up for more Lego shenanigans, um, I certainly used some of the things I learned in that in the woodworking, metalworking, and design technology classes I did in high school. Um, Chatter, were you confusing high school with higher education? They're, they're very different concepts. <laughs> Although I don't know if you're deliberately confusing the two. Because sometimes I feel like you... <laughs> you do that. <laughs> but yeah, my school was really good for having um, those sorts of construction classes and stuff. Oh, the school Capac and I went to was actually really good for that. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Literal translations between English and German. Those always end up making sense, don't they? <laughs> When there isn't a literal translation, we just steal the German word.
Schadenfreude. Or something else that's probably more common than that that I don't know about. But yeah, Capac and I have been friends and known each other for... I don't even want to think about how many years. Thank you, Simono. Thank you for three months. Uh, I am having a pretty good day, actually. It's not too hot in my shed yet. It's, um... There's a cool breeze coming in my window. It's lovely. Yeah, okay. Kindergarten. That is definitely, um... That is definitely a stolen German word that is more common than Schadenfreude. Oh, I'll play that. See, I knew there was one I wasn't thinking of. It was far more common. <laughs> Alright, once these batteries are done with... I'm pretty safe on power having four large batteries here. And then I can start moving on to some other aspects of getting this built. I would choose beer garden over kindergarten any day. Hmm. So there's, there's only one reason I might pick um, a kindergarten over a beer garden. It's if I get it's, um, if Toby's in a really cranky mood <laughs> and I can leave him with someone else for a moment. I mean, you say you wouldn't put a toddler in a beer garden, but Toby has been to a beer garden. He just plays and does his usual stuff. I mean, Charlie has been to that same beer garden. Um, because it is dog friendly. Uh, I'm gonna... There are quite a few around here that are both small child and um, dog friendly. Grab the high power spot. I wanted that. I don't know how much light this is going to provide for this garage. I'm probably going to need more than one spotlight. But I'm going to try with one first. Will my roof cause me power problems? Yes. Yes, it will. Am I still going to build the roof? Yes. Yes, I am. Exactly. The power is cheaty anyway, so I do feel a little bit guilty having it. A little. Not enough to not do it. Mind you, just just a little. Yeah. I think this is coming together. It was really bothering me that I had this place just as 
basically um, every engineer's first survival base layout for so long. We're going to get a rotating camera in this garage. No. No. I'm not actually set up to be able to do any of those sorts of time-lapse recordings anymore. But honestly, that was uh, one of my favorite things I did in Survival Impossible. Because it made it so easy to do perfectly rotating time lapses of builds. better building with matte finish blocks in a color because the scaffolding is so much less shiny and obnoxious. Let's see if this will park and hook up or am I going to have to build a double hinge thing? Um, Shadow, from what I understand of what you've told me about your course, I thought it was, um, university. Which is very different to secondary vocational education. Uh, at least uh, with the Australian definitions. Vocational education would be stuff like, um, being a chef, plumber, electrician, those sorts of things. Things that are traditionally, that were traditionally done as um, apprenticeships. Okay. How much magnesium did I get from the magnesium I collected? It should be all refined by now. Almost. Okay, enough for about a hundred cases of ammo. That should be a decent start. Yeah, Calcifer, I think TAFE, which is a I think it's just a New South Wales. It's not even an Australia thing. Um, it's probably more equivalent to the American... As best as I can figure, it's roughly equivalent to an American community college type thing. Uh, it does qualifications below degree... Like, uh, in terms of academic status, below degree. Everything up to... But not including degrees. Bachelor's degrees, that is. Yeah. Unz, unz, unz. <laughs> yeah, MWJ, it's exactly that. Okay, plenty of ammo. I got a decent amount of cobalt. 813. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna try. Let's see if I can manage to get down. A large grid structure. I'm gonna wait till the components are actually made first. Large grid structure that can have a turret on it at one of my entrances. <laughs> I find it hard to say what it is in English, especially when many English speaking countries say it differently. Uh, do like they do. Say it your way and pretend it's the right one. Yes. It's disturbingly accurate, you all.
Okay, so I'm thinking I can find a spot out here. Should be able to get a gun turret in. Oh, are you going to shoot at me? You? Yes? Okay. That's going to make things more tricky. I definitely need to clear airspace before I can go and try and attempt that. Uh, which I should be able to do if I take my fighter out. This time, take it out with more ammo on board. Alright, have ammo... And now I have some more. When are we getting the next RVs at war? Um, so, might as well mention this now. Normally I would stream on a Monday. Well, what is my Monday and what is Sunday for a lot of people around the world. Uh, however, my partner is working that day. So I will be looking after Toby... And so we'll not be streaming on my usual day. I'll be streaming a day later. So for me, it'll be the 2nd of January. Not the 1st. So the Tuesday rather than the Monday. I'm getting shot up. Hopefully I'm winning this battle. Yeah, down it goes. Agonize doing up here. I don't think it's time to introduce Toby to uh, Space Engineers, no. It's usually not... It's, it's quite strongly recommended against in most of the um, stuff out there. Uh, introducing children under the age of tw 12 months to screen time. <laughs> but he is playing with Duplo. And by playing, I mean picking pieces up and bashing them together and making noise with them. would play SC like that back. Ouch. <laughs> I mean, it's not wrong, but still. Can I take out the base this time? And make myself nice and clear. So there should be a drone that'll um, appear as I get close. So I'll have to deal with that one first. There it is. It's a fidget. Shoot the face! Shoot the drone! No! Ah, oh, you rotten thing. Okay, that, that'll force it. There's no thrust on the base.
This is a situation I run into a lot. I might need to set up controls so that I can switch off targeting large grid. Uh, let's target communication. Let's see what I can do to this base then. Flashing is horrible. Get a little bit closer. I just want to stay outside interior turret range. to anyone with flashing. It's fine since difficult. I don't have an alternative unless I mount some fixed weapons. Oh, that's gone. Help the remote? Yeah. the remote. But if I can kill the battery... Power. Target the power. Let's get a bit closer. The tree makes it very difficult. Okay, I think I killed the power, which means I can now go in and collect the ammo. The unknown signals and random fighter are mod or is it in-game mechanics? Um, most of the stuff that I'm interacting with is a mod. Most of the NPC sort of stuff is mod. Proper unknown signals are vanilla, but yeah, everything else here is mod. Also, badness is flying in. Ooh. Ten magazines of ammo. I'm rich. Really? Seems I shot up every single other one. At least that, that means that base is done. I got this drone and head home. And then I can build some uh, surface weaponry. Hopefully. See how long it lasts. damage. I think I got rid of its guns. Uh, let's get rid of it entirely. I don't want that accidentally crashing on me. Okay, we have a base that is a long way away from me, so it shouldn't be a problem. And that has hit the ground. Cool. Uh, no, I don't. I don't tend to add kamikaze mode for my drones, um, largely because I super overpower their thrusters so that they don't crash when maneuvering around you, and that would be that would be cruel even by my standards uh, to have that crash into you. 
Because they would be very, very effective missiles. There's a chance that they'll do it by accident, but they're not going to do it on purpose. So I think what I'm going to try and do is place down a single battery and then a few turrets attached to that battery up on the surface. See if that'll at least cut down some of the drones. Maybe they'll survive. Oh great, lucky dip. What am I shooting at? There are robots! That's got to be robots, right? Yes, there are robots. No, there are... Worms? That was an anticlimactic way to find worms. But I've eaten computers. There are worms. As I said, there's chipstick shenanigans going on here. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> yes, that is very much a mod. The worms are not vanilla. Surface mounted weaponry. Let's go. Crunch. Still thinking probably the best idea is to build it near the exits. Uh, just because that means I've got a place to approach might be somewhat protected. Also, the batteries are less likely to get hit. Can the worms burrow into my base? Um, I... They can certainly get into my base in the same way that the, um... The... The robots did. So they can get in. I don't think they burrow in, though. Unless they burrow like spiders. Fuel like the Sabaroids. Oh. Fuel so I'm running critical. back. Hey, Captain Hebe. Uh, I'm, I'm surviving really well. I think I'm going to need to up the difficulty again. <laughs> At some point. Managed to get some surface mounted guns. It's a bit of a balance though. Add too much difficulty, and I won't be able to make any progress. Too little, and I make too much progress. Uh, let me get a turret before you spawn in any drones. Let me see if a turret's even useful. Placing a turret on top. Oh, 
on, come on, come on, quickly, quickly, quickly. No. No, there's another base. Oh, man. Bases. I think a lot of the difficulty in the last stream was the fact that my turrets were bugged. <laughs> Which is kind of ridiculous. What is the um what thing? Um, it's that. Although I'm friendly with spice pirates, apparently. I should probably put perpetually perturbed pirates on. I feel like this is just, uh... This is gonna do... Oh! Bye, robot! That's not going to be a happy landing. Yeah, I might need perpetually perturbed pirates. This guy's a friend. I'm just going to leave him out here. Yeah, those are friendly bots. <laughs> I guess the um want uh, was accurate. Crash already. No, no. I land on the button. Oh, just got it and missed it. There we go. What? Uh, oh, this one. These are vanilla. Yay, badger boots. Hooray. I mean, the thrust is useful, though. I never get badger boots, yeah. Actually, to be fair, it's usually like a badger rifle, isn't it? I think. That's the one I usually end up with. Probably be focusing on building guns instead of grinding this down. Inventory full. I think I do have the full badger set. I've got the full set of a lot of things, but it's not normally a thing I'm too worried about. I I think I actually purchased some of the sets off the community thing uh, because I wanted to make sure I had the sets available for thumbnails and the like when Capac decided to dress himself up in weird things. Because uh, anything he ends up using in a series, I need to have that, those same items so that I can then make thumbnails after the fact. Uh, Keen has not made any NPC bots like the robots you see. No.
that magic is all thanks to Jeta. Well, the, the pathing and all that stuff. The look of them is mostly thanks to Chipsticks. Spot. Uh oh. <laughs> That's a problem. Might need to change this turret's targeting priorities. These will still get shot even if I've changed it to weapons, because I think, if I remember correctly, these have warheads on them, so they'll still count as a weapon. Bonus parts. Inventory full. Inventory full. Target thruster then? Actually, yeah. Thruster's probably a fairly safe targeting option. I usually set target weapons because if it doesn't have a weapon, then I don't have to worry about it. as much. That's normally my approach to that, but yeah, I think in this instance probably best to get rid of anything that's a distraction as well. Give the battery at least some tiny bit of protection. I have no idea what that is. Do I think a secondary color will be? I don't know. I don't even know if yellow is going to be my main color. I'm just building in yellow because it makes it stand out from all the gray stone around it for the moment, which is helpful. Uh, that's really my main reason for building with yellow at this stage is that it, you can see what I've built. Because it's it's one thing being able to see what you're doing when you're the one playing the game. It's a very different experience when you're trying to see what someone else is doing. So I do try and build with stuff that's going to be bright enough to stand out properly. Uh, MWG, yes, the the Scrapyard mod should see some updates in the new year, um, as I'm hoping, and I know Nev is hoping, because he's been organized for this for ages, to host a, um, a supporter server for Scrapyard. Uh, so as part of posting that, I will plan to do some updates to the mod. Mods. Slash RSTFE to update the mods <laughs> a bit once I've got the builds ready for it.
Oh, Nev, I'm sure you'll have new thoughts, even if you forgot your thoughts, because it's been so many months since we talked about it. Um, but the collector is coming close to me having the collection finished. Uh, so that's pretty exciting. So that will leave recording time available for me to work on it. Um, start the new series. Uh, MWG, no. Uh, I would ask that other people do not stream from the server because I will be pre-recording it and editing it. That's my plan at the moment. So things that will happen will happen much later in the edited stuff, so that would kind of defeat a lot of it. Having someone else show it live. I'm not. Fuel low. Fuel critical. Unless I change my mind and I end up streaming it. <laughs> uh, assuming you're talking about the scrapyard thing. Because the collector server is a public keen server. You can do whatever the heck you want. I got no control over that. Which is why it's a miracle I haven't been destroyed yet. Raider drop pod. Ow! 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 Jerks! Why doesn't my gun show? Ah! Tripped on a corpse! Tripped on a bot corpse! Ow, ow, ow! Nine health. Oh. Ooh. Oh, there's a drone incoming. I need to get that turret up. that other turret too, depending on how much ammo it just chewed through. But the Agonize doesn't seem to be getting closer, so maybe I'm okay for a bit. It's got six cases left. Let's rearm that. And I might need to take my fighter out and go grab some clear the skies and then go grab some more magnesium because I'm going to be low again. Not careful. Uh, in fact, we need that many case, that many magazines of ammo. Uh, so let's disassemble those. Get some magnesium from them. Uh, yeah, the outside stuff is not connected to the inside stuff. Nothing is connected. It's all a collection of different bases. Oh, here we go. Ow! Oh! <laughs> with, its <laughs> with its final shot, it got me. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> Man. Ah. Uh. 
Where's my body? Body there, backpack here. Wow. Ridiculous. Yeah, at least it was me, not my turrets. That's true. That would have been worse. But, uh... I'm currently clear skies, so let's go get some magnesium. Oh. I have no idea what just exploded then. Oh yeah, both the turrets set up, don't they? Max range. And yeah, we'll go. Alright, now now set up. Thank you for the rider. Let's roll. Let's see if I can dig up some more magnesium before something else goes wrong. Speed. I have speed. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoa, that tree! Whoa. That was almost disastrous. Can't believe I got out of that. Oh, good. Offering emotional support. I was so worried you guys were going to call it a drone then. the stream and first word is tree. <laughs> yeah, that seems appropriate. It's on brand. That's what that is. how sometimes the signals from the NPCs go odd like that and it shows me the the beacon no what causes that I was going to try and hold the drill down as I go down to dig a wider tunnel but I don't think it's going to make much difference Way too long. Uh, yeah, I do want that range. Yes, that will waste a little bit of ammo because the turrets are going to be shooting at a range where they're not super accurate. But if the enemy drones have that range, uh, best the turrets at least get some shots off before they get shot up themselves. Is what I figure. That's what I should do. I should build the, um, I should build a little flying miner that goes on this rover so I can drive it to and from. Inventory full. I mean, it's a bit more efficient than me doing this by hand. Because I'm just not going to get enough materials to stay ahead eventually.
I'm thinking more something on the scale of the um, rover and miner that I built in my uh, tutorial series. That sort of size. Less, less butterball and goose, more genuinely small miner. Inventory full. Ow. It's three loads, good. We're going okay. Still got over a minute on the next pole, so I've got a little bit of time before you guys bring something nasty to chase me away again. How about falling in the irony hole, hole was the best thing? Ow. Got almost one full cargo. I might try and build a proper refinery before I refine this lot. Oh, because I also know where gold is, don't I? So I could go get some yield modules and actually make this more efficient. Probably aim to do that Inventory before full. I build some better miner. Gold 1.2 k's away. Uh oh. Ow! Ah uh, yeah, Shadow. Originally there was gold all over the place. This was Midas's planet the first stream I did, but I fixed it. Now there is a much more reasonable distribution of rated drop pods. Right. Okay, let's get in the Oh, multiple. Let's get in the truck and let's go. Now, I have the joy of there being robots by my magnesium mine that I'm going to have to deal with the next time I come back. Fantastic. Ow, tree. No, wait, what? No tree? Weird. I could get some gold. Don't know how much, uh, how effective those robots are at traversing that sort of terrain. Hello, Charlie. Decided to get up this morning, did you? Nope, he's gone. Dog opens door, looks around, confirms that I'm here, and says, like, Alright, I know you're here. You're not going to be moving anytime soon. My PA has arrived for work, yes. One thing she is very good at um, is calming... Like, she can be quite effective at calming Toby when he's very upset. As in, letting him pat her fur seems to settle him sometimes. I need to confirm this source of food is still alive. Yeah. Nuka World, I still can't believe Charlie managed to flick the power switch and turn off my whole stream setup. have made that near impossible for her to do now, thankfully. Didn't really want that to happen.
Hi. What? What? Oh. Saw a red tag moving. I'm hoping I eventually see this gold that I believe is here. I'm guessing it's going to be about 100 meters down. But not having a... Uh... What just... Why did that explode? Hmm. Thanks, Victorious. Thanks for 19 months. Someone who had to put a cover on their computer's power switch to keep their cat from turning the computer off all the time. Yep. Charlie's was even more bizarre than that because it was a chew toy that she was chewing and thrashing about with her head that then snapped and launched itself and perfectly hit the power switch. Um, so it wasn't even her playing with it. It was her flinging... Okay, I'm 110 meters from the AU marker and I haven't seen gold. This is concerned. Probably turn around and stop now and try and get another large grid ore detector because I don't know where this gold is. I thought I would find it here, but I am not finding it. Uh, this shouldn't be one of the stream first stream markers, no, because I believe I deleted all those, but I am now at near 150 meters, so I should probably give up. Yeah, it does appear to be fool's gold, and there's now a drone up there, so I'm yeah, I'm out of here. Right, looks like we need to get another large grid ore detector fitted out on the rover. So that's my mission now. So I can get away from this fidget drone. I've had the rover fitted with turrets before, and they get shot up so quickly that I just... I didn't see the point anymore. <laughs> they didn't actually work very well. Although, again, who knows? They may have been bugged. Because that seems to be the thing for turrets, and me in this series. See if that fidget lasts against my turrets. That was another base spawning in. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is probably make it so that this connector does align with the one on the base by lifting the whole thing on the back here. Uh, but I need to decide where I'm going to put my refinery first. So I probably want to go check out what's happening with these guns. They're definitely getting some hits. Yep, they are getting some hits. This is working. Seven and seven, that's okay. Alright, 
let's get oh uh, let's do this the other, another way clear up this little bit of wreckage here so that I can more easily drive out this entrance it will also get me the steel plate I need so that I can put down the start of this refinery I might make a little, um... No, oh, that's probably a waste doing that. It's just one. I was about to say I might make a vehicle that's designed for mining those little ice lakes that are all over the place. But I think if I make a miner that can go down, like, can dig down into getting the deposits, then I, that same one should be fairly effective at getting the ice so that I've got power from it. This is a brand new start? No. Nope. Uh, this would be the fourth stream of this? And I surprisingly haven't had to do a complete restart at any point. Because thankfully I was able to fix the ore distribution without doing a restart. Because I really didn't want to do that. Uh, but this series, like this particular scenario, is one that I'll just kind of pick at from time to time. I'm not setting it in stone that I'm going to do it every single week. Um, I will do it when I've... when I'm in the mood. Or when I've got something specific that I've added to it that I think would be cool to test out. Um, basically, it's going to be something that I use when I'm like, yeah, I just want to build some stuff. Because there are too many things I've got running at the moment. And I don't know which ones I want to do each time. Hey, Kalsva. enough for that. Although there's another drop. I might go grab that one as well. So, refinery. I think I probably will put a couple of them along here. I'll weld up these four bits before I put it down. Not enough catback rambling yet. Yeah, surprisingly we haven't had one of those today. Fat player, thank you for six months. Do I want it? Actually, I might move this along one block. I don't want the upgrade module sticking too, too far into the stone. Oops, I just painted the whole thing. That's fine, because I'm getting rid of that. Uh, something I did during the last AA episode, which I'm not sure was I communicated as clearly as I probably should have, um, was that I did reuse Capax um, in the episode. Like, I just got the actual audio clip and put it in. But I think a few people thought that he might have repeated himself. Eh, you know, worse things have happened.
Yeah, I figured anyone... Oh. Thresh incoming. The Thresh ones have rockets, so this could get interesting against the turrets. Let's try and collect this before that arrives. Oh, it's almost here. Oh, it... <laughs> it went straight up for the emotional support drop box. Boom! There is nothing left. And the drone's down. Nice. Anything good from it? Ooh. Press that. Nothing in the container. Here's to be all of the good stuff. Nah. Alright, well, I got something. <laughs> Didn't get what I was after, but I got something. Still okay on ammo front. Uh, Perseus, no. <laughs> no, we did not ever figure out whether TFE bought the wrong upgrade. But if you ever watched us play uh, Dune together, then you would know you would know that um, TFE clicking the wrong button is very much a thing. Oh, right. Yes. Ooh, he's a thruster. Ooh, he's a thruster. Ooh, he's a thruster. The Holly of AA will be TFE getting work in Solar Suit. Uh, for those of you who enjoy AA, you will be pleased to know I don't have any finale plans for AA. Um, I have plans for potential spin-offs. My, a little bit like what I did with the uh, Escape from Mars and Survival Unlikely. I do hope to do that sort of thing with AA. But yeah, I don't have any plans to end that series. Um, as it approaches its 70th episode... Yes, it goes from AA to AB. Yeah, I think the next episode um, will hopefully be one that people who want to watch us build stuff uh, will be pleased by. So I've got a plan to distract TFE and Kapak for a while. Uh, this is going to take a while. Because I'm building on separate grids, it's it'll be a bit of a pain to actually get the to get a welder to line up. Well, maybe not. Oh, maybe. Oh. I'm gonna guess that this emotional support Energy package has low. a thruster in it. It had a gyro. <laughs> and 20 explosives. Nice. That's a good pickup. I'm glad that didn't get blown up. Oh, poop. I'm going to have to walk back. <laughs> Turrets took the fun out of that one. Yep, yeah, maybe. Arguably.
I don't know, Diver Bishop. I don't know. <coughs> Keen have always had the suit warning super late. Um. Ow. then it would be useful and then we couldn't complain. Yeah, I mean, complaining is a sign that you've produced something that people in people are passionate about, I guess. Should be putting stuff in this cargo container, not in the other one. Oh yeah, I should refill my bottle. Uh, am I still getting more... Uh -oh. Still getting more steel plate or have I run out of steel? Iron. Here to have run out of iron. Alright, let's go on a little mining trip. I'm gonna go collect a bunch of iron ore. Just something I should have done ages ago. Relying too heavily on the stone mine from the back wall, which is just so slow. I reckon once I've got this refinery up and running, then I'll look at uh, building a little miner and reshaping this truck into something a bit more functional. Okay, where's the nearest iron deposit? It's out this way. Iron and cobalt. Uh, the rover is not piped up yet. Uh, I decided not to fix that until I um, had some other stuff done. Oh, this is a tragically thin iron deposit. Uh, let's not use that one. That's just going to be a pain and slow. Go to the other iron deposit. Hopefully this one's a bit more significant. Thanks, Mr. Tin Man. Thank you for 20 months. Thank you very much. Can I see iron? No. Oh, I hope I actually spot it this time. This isn't like the fool's gold that I just did before. If all the deposits... No, the deposits can't have moved, because I found the magnesium where it was. And the iron was where it was, it's just... Maybe my markers are slightly off, because I was making them while on the move. Why... Um... I mean... Violent Shadow, I have specifically used the AI blocks to make transport drones and combat drones. Transport drones is how I did it in the tutorial for it. 
and combat drones I did in AA, and they were not particularly functional around the Skywarp, uh, which is unfortunate. As the uh, Skywarp does have a tendency to push the processing in SE to its limits, and apparently other things take priority over the AI modules. Drill even detecting stuff? Yeah, Skywarp effectively does have an AI inhibitor field, yeah. No AI block functions consistently around it. I mean, we could blame it on the Skywarp, or we could blame it on the Marlin. Maybe the Marlin's too big and it's the problem. <laughs> Okay, I have to go back and put an ore detector on because I can't see anything. This is ridiculous. The Marlin is a bit like a Remora, yes, Shadow, that's true. Um, but it's like a remora that's trying to grow bigger than its host. Okay, this is... I've, I've got to get the ore detector on. I have no idea where these faucets actually Ow! are. Ow! What the... Gah! That's... Grr! Ow! No, bad time to reload. Oh, bad, 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 Your bad, 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 bad. Come on, health. Come on, health. I don't have a medkit. Gotta wait for health regen. Robots. Oh. Ow. Okay, they found me. Ow. Ow. Wait for them to get closer with my cinematic rifle. Oh. One down. Yeah, they have, they have cinematic pistols that... Ow, no, they have cinematic rifles too. But they have, like, 1% angle deviation. Or 1 degree angle deviation on their fire. It's insane. They don't do much damage, but they have insane accuracy. So mine's less accurate, but does more damage. One more out there, though. The bots have infinite jetpack fuel. They probably do. Is it robots? Shut up my truck, or is my truck okay? 
That seems to be okay. Uh, smoke. <laughs> Sucker. Feels like playing GTA. Can't see them, but I can see their feet. Drive back home. Even add a normal ore detector to this would probably be a good idea. Like a small grid one. Because hang on. Let's, let's just see if there is something wrong with my drills or detector. Because there was there was iron here. Was I getting a marker for it? No. Oh no, I am. Okay. It is working. So my marks may just be a little bit off. More, more than a little bit off. I do like that the, um, the AI-enabled bots don't shoot up my rover. Makes them quite fun to fight. Because <laughs> it means if I stay clear of my rover, I'm going to be o At least it'll be okay. And it also means that they're quite a surprise when I get to the surface. and get some steel. Okay. So I know what I'm doing. Where's my nearest rack? Boom. Turrets are doing work. This is great. Are the drills on the base eating away your power? Yeah, probably a little bit. It's not a big deal. I find that in, like, series that I play, power, power concerns are always a little bit different to, say, if you're on a server or something you'd play offline. Because I only play for four to six hours a week. It takes a long time for power issues to manifest themselves. Um, so I don't usually have to worry about them that much. It's only once I start flying stuff that it might become a concern. Well, flying stuff more. That should be enough for me to get the... That'll be enough to get the small ore detector, but for a large one... Might be enough steel plate. How much have I got? 86. Yeah, that should be it. Uh, Reaper, the only scripted things I was thinking of doing, like for autopilot y stuff. Uh, is really just the wham and lamp scripts for the missiles uh, that I've already done. I wasn't planning on doing anything else in AA. 
but as I said, I've got no end in sight or planned for AA either, so there's a lot of stuff that may happen in the future. But I have no idea what it is yet. Alright, time to make another rover that's going to flip over and destroy another auto detector. that around. I don't really want to point it backwards. Don't know if it makes any impact whatsoever on the distribution of mass, uh, but if it does, I'd like to be careful. to get how much iron? 69 iron. That'll get there. And I should have enough nickel, I think, to get those detector components built. And then we can go out and confirm that I'm a dope and I marked the GPS as wrong. And... <laughs> find new sources of iron and gold. Uh, the reason I have to use a rotor here rather than a hinge is that I won't ease... Uh, it'll be a lot harder to get a large hinge piece onto a rotor. Uh, onto a hinge than this one. This way of doing things is a lot easier. And adding an extra hinge onto this would just add a whole lot of extra mass that I don't want to add. Rover, red rover, don't flip over. Yes. Yellow Rover. Max range. Let's go. Please don't collide with the... Oh. Good. There's a decent amount of clearance there. Um, iron deposit first, I think. And then I will go to the um, gold one, I think. Make the most sense. Probably should have put an antenna on this so I could broadcast the location. If I don't manage to find the iron quickly, I will go back and do that. Hey, magical. Gonna get a spinny auto detector? No, not in this case, no. No, that would be, um... I've crashed... Ha Chat, how many of these rovers that I've built with auto detectors on top of that now crashed? Oh, no, this is gonna be another stingy 
iron deposit as well. Right at the surface. Ow. It's gonna be super thin, I think. Yep. Same as the other one. Inventory full. Lamo. Got a couple of handfuls of iron at least, and then I'll head for that gold. Annoying that it's um the ones that I found are are so such poor deposits. Where's the gold at? It is still iron, but it's just uh, it's not a very good iron to collect with hand drill. With a drill ship, maybe. Because you can eject all the extra stone you collect, but by hand it's it's always such a pain having to throw away stone. Uh, squirm is not an acronym. It's just that. I was trying to come up with names for all the drones and things, and basically... I kind of just went with synonyms to irritate or aggravate or annoy or fidget and be uncomfortable. And I don't see any gold here. Oh, there it is. 200, and 200 meters down. Okay. Well, yes, I didn't go deep enough. It does seem like the deposits are either on the top of, on the surface, or as deep as, uh, completely ridiculous. I wonder if some of these deposits carried over. I briefly had a um an ore detector mod active in the save just so that I could confirm what. Uh, deposits were out there and the ore modification mod that I'm using has a system where it adjusts the maximum depth based on any ore detector mods you have and I wonder if some of them got stuck which means there could be deposits that are like 400 meters down that I will never ever 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 find let's go I think, I think the way that it will work is the deeper the deposit, the richer the deposit. Inventory full. So maybe I'll do a bit of driving around. I oh, know I need to set up my auto detector rig again because I don't have the scanner. Uh, I don't want to just drive around randomly. But if I see an iron, what? Oh, stupid bots! I shut my tires. There you shoot my wheels.
Oh dear. Ah, they're flanking me. Ow, ow, ow! Ow! I'm using the cinematic rifle because I get ammo from them for it. Hey, my log. that guy. Oh, such a bad time for a reload. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, I think TFE started me on it. The MR50A, I, we now call the cinematic rifle because it, sh it shoots a lot of bullets, but it doesn't hit much. So you get lots of drama without much uh, action. Okay, how much damage did they do to the truck? Might have just been superficial. Yeah, just a little bit of damage to the wheels, that's fine. I don't know where the corpses are, so... Oh well. The health regen is frankly far too strong. I don't know, Nev! <laughs> I don't mind it. <laughs> I mean, if you could make med kits, yeah, they could probably get rid of it. But because you have to buy med kits, I think having health regen is reasonable. Nev, do you think that the health regen in GTA is too strong? Inventory full. Because it works the same there. Hide behind something, don't take damage, and you'll regen your health up to half. Uh. I think it feels alright there. I don't know. I don't think it's too bad. I think it feels weird here because the the bots do like one or two damage per shot that they hit, but they hit constantly so they are still deadly. Uh, I have played GTA on stream once, um, but I have played a lot of GTA not on stream. Like, there are some weeks where uh, TFE, Capac, Nev, and myself will play a bit of GTA just instead of doing a recording, just for some fun. Because I think it's important um, when you're playing games with people for content to also play as just friends. Kind of like Gunfire. Gunfire. So otherwise you get trapped in this weird, we just make content together, not genuinely friends kind of state, which, I don't know, it feels weird to me. Because all, all of the people that I, I make videos with, uh, people I've played games with before, had fun and decided, hey, do you want to join me for this? Full. Don't always have time to play games just for the fun of it with them though. Like Shadow and I, it's really hard to line up time. 
Oh yeah, there. That's true. DFV, we've also done um. <laughs> also done group GTA sessions with the supporter group a few times, which has been fun. Racing around, shooting each other. TFE blowing me and everyone up with bombs because he's so much better at it than I am. Keep an eye out for iron. That's what I need to do. Let's see if there is any that is deep. Yeah, Splitsy blowing up. That was more than half the field, Nev. I think I took out almost everyone except for me with that well-timed rocket. That one time. Yeah, Spectre, I miss doing stuff with Wasted 2. It's just not worked out for quite some time. The stuff that we want to do. not an intentional thing, it's just a scheduling uh, games we're playing sort of thing. Yeah, the iron waypoints that I've got both have iron very close to the surface, unfortunately. I may have to scan for some others. Or just accept that that's what it is and get this drill rig up and running. Now that I've got the gold, I might try and just make do with what I've got, get this refinery up and running, and at least then even the stone that I'll collect will be worth more. How did I get to know TFE and Shadow? Uh, TFE was someone I noticed who also played Rocket League. He was one of the very few people on our Discord server that played Rocket League when Capac and I used to play it a lot. And Capac and I always liked playing threes, but never had a third. Nice. Down already. Uh, how much ammo have I got? So I asked him if he wanted to join us. No, uh, he did. He was good enough at giving Capac and I grief constantly that um, I then was like, hey, you want to actually do some stuff as well? Let's get that iron out. Shadow, that started with her making some really cool art the wrong way up. Nice getting chatting about that. That's what I'm doing. Ammo. Gap. That. Uh, manually rearming this is probably going to be an issue later, but I think it's still the right move for the moment. Yes, exactly, Shadow. I then saw you bought Plate Up after, around the time I was playing it a lot and forced you to play it. Such an evil, evil person. What? Oh, that one's going down. What am I making? Alright. Um, steel plate. That's what I need. Uh, 
Uh, the most successful restaurant I think Shadow and I did, despite our ping to each other, uh, was a burger restaurant. But we were having... It was over 200 a day, wasn't it, Shadow? It's a survival kit making something. Why? Why? Why I really like med bays better than survival kits. Survival kits store stone randomly. They steal production quotas randomly. And when I say randomly, I mean when you accidentally use their access port to order stuff up. Because if you use its access port to order stuff up with Build Planner, it will do it. Rather than the assembler, which is much better at it. Uh, no, it's not time for Izzy's auto-crafting. I don't have enough resources to do things that way. As yet. Uh, and I'm out of iron again. Need another 460 steel plate. Whoa. Does this piston still have any extension left? Oh, it actually does. For another sweep, then. I know I can normally do the sweeps with, like, two and a half meter increments, but for some reason last time it was not happy with that, so I've been doing them much shorter. It means I get less per pass, but... It is what it is. Just wondering at what point do I go outside and just grind down grits that are on the surface in order to try and get the remaining parts. I'll go out and get these pick up this pickup that's out here though. This one. Blammo. Threw me off because it was upside down. While grinding down grids does clean up the local area, it's also so boring. If I had a tier 3 grinder, it wouldn't be so bad. Because in RVs of War, I can get through one of these pretty quickly. But with this level grinder, it is not fun. And I don't want to use up my limited silver that I have right now to get a better tool. Because I've got exactly enough med kits, uh, med components, sorry, to make a med bay. And I would like to do that. If I manage to get another robot raider pod, then yeah, maybe I'll convert some of the med components into tools. So I've at least got the tier 2. So I think it'll be a few thousand of the ones of these that contain the platinum for me to be able to get together the platinum tools. And I don't recall whether the version I got working was the version that had uh, platinum Inventory on the planet or not. Full. remember. Ah, uh, no, those are not explosives on the ground. Those are um, data pads. Oh, so close. So very close. Another 60 to go. I 
pretty sure that was a data pad. I was pretty confident. Absolutely certain. No, Edric, I will not be turning meteors on. <laughs> I did have fun with that one stream where I let you guys spawn in meteors on top of me, but I don't think I'll be doing that again anytime soon. It was a good test of the Twitch integration, though. such a tricky thing with space engineers figuring out what integrations will be fun and what will just be annoying. And also trying to make them performance friendly is the other challenge. Performance friendly limits, limits your options significantly. This should be enough steel plates to finish off the refiner. You know what? Weirdly, I often can trust my Twitch chat to Energy not do significant low. harm. The biggest problem is when Capac shows up and then goads them into doing ridiculous stuff to me. Slash uses his own points to make it do ridiculous stuff. Um, I am almost out of hydrogen. I'm going to go back inside first. Fuel low. Ow. Ow. Fuel critical. That was an unfortunate bounce. into the roof. enough to be functional. And I just need to pipe it up. Probably start putting the gold in there now, actually. That get me the part stuff I need for the yield modules. Yeah, exactly, Shadow. Capac spamming points so that we couldn't fast forward, so that we had to take forever to get to the planet. Moon. Thing. That we're heading towards. Oh! That's you, Gyroscope! Wanna get the beacon. It spins in a perfect way to make it really hard to get the block that the gyroscope is attached to. I'm just hoping to snap this in half. And that the half with the beacon doesn't have the gyro. Getting there. So close. It's like one block holding this together. I can't get it. I'm also starting to feel a little bit ill looking at that. Starting to feel dizzy. My eyes were trying to track it too much. Come on. No. Oh, I got that part off. Well, I mean, you've got the right name for spamming the points for not fast-forwarding as well, not Mr. Fun.
Aha! There we go. Got it. And I'll take those explosives. Hey, glitch. The rifle is tempting, not gonna lie, but it's also a bit inefficient. And especially when, as I collected one of these before, I knew there were explosives inside and those are worth collecting. And there's another drop straight away. Uh, let's go drop off all my parts. Let's see how we're looking towards getting yield modules. How much do I need for 20 superconductor components? Uh, 13. Sweet. Just need some iron. Maybe there's a small chance I'll get enough from this. if I cancel those. I might, uh, if I get time, redesign the bigger drop pods to not be so big. Like these these container ones, I think I may redesign them to be more the size of the the audio ones. Because I think that's a bit better. I think they're a bit too big. There's too much stuff in them. Energy low. Will the warhead on those go off if I don't deal with it? It shouldn't, no. But the warhead is armed, so if you shoot at those, they will explode quite quickly. Uh, which was intentional design. stone I've got. Hold out of here. There's not much. Well, at least I got one yield module out of that trip. Could have been worse. Still got more gold in here. Yeah, no, 
it's not revenge on Capac to make him drive. That would be revenge on me to make him drive. Capac likes driving because it means he's in control of whatever weird shenanigans he decides to pull. That is true, Ixen. I did make them that big because I wanted to have a medium cargo on one of them, but I probably don't need the medium cargo on any of them. So I can probably... Now that I've got a better feel of what's needed for them, I can probably make it better and keep it smaller. of the yield modules. At least I don't need to go collect gold for any jump drives in this. Yield modules is the limit of what I need. <laughs> But yeah, I think making them smaller would make more sense for how it plays in this particular scenario. Um, I'd originally designed them to be... Uh, I'd also intended them to be more consistent with the scrapyard aesthetic, uh, which is why the big cargo containers worked. Uh, but yeah, here they feel a bit out of place. goes the drone. I think. Looked like it hit the ground. Oh yeah, it did. Stop shooting. Stop shooting. I want the goodies. Stop shooting. Oh. Oh wait, no. Down there. Cool. Get these bits. Who's got money on me for getting to turn the turrets back on? I know I do. They find everything except for the remote control. First. No energy. Oh, I was hoping there'd be more more thrusters on that for when I got to it. Yeah, I need a button panel for turning the turrets on and off. Indeed. Kind of didn't expect that I would be turning the turrets off. To be fair. Welding lets you grind off blocks independently of stuff you don't own. Try, but I don't. I thought it was. I thought it stopped you from doing that. Yeah, cannot detach enemy blocks. Uh, it looks like I've got all the good bits now, anyway. Exhaust. Probably going to explode in my face when I grind down the battery. Yep. I need to clear the 
Turn the turrets back on and check their ammo levels as well. Ammo is fine. Put a dent in my gravel road. How rude. Ooh, ammo. Nice. Didn't see that before. eventually have some sort of setup that allows me to um, <laughs> automatically do this rather than having to manually handle everything. Eventually. What's that? Yeah, that is cool. I need a lot of things. I need a lot of things, but I, I don't. I don't necessarily agree that um, turrets on my mining rover is what I need. Um, I will probably put them on there anyway, but I don't necessarily agree that that's what I need because they don't seem to have worked out very well for me so far. Rover plus large grid turret. Yeah, it's so big I won't really be able to travel through my tunnels. And I kind of want to limit my mobile grids to stuff that will fit through the tunnels that I've pre-dug out. At least for a while. Uh, that's just going to be a bit of a self-imposed limit, I think. Uh, if at some point I'm like, actually, this isn't being as fun anymore, I want to build something bigger, then I'll change that. But I think for now I'll stick with that as a self-imposed thing. Um, I'll be back in just a sec. I need to take a quick bio break. Um, and then, now that I've got that refinery done, I can do some other stuff.
I am back. And Charlie has joined me in the shed in her typically, I don't know how this is comfortable pose. In in Aminos. When have any of my plans turned out the way I intended? Um, you know what? There, there is one really good example I have of a plan that worked out mostly as I intended, which was the plan to, of how I would not keep doing the job I used to do. That one worked out. That one worked out really well. Uh, but my space engineer's plans, those don't tend to work out super well. Try something different for my um, little scanner here. Because I do want to put another scanner on it. So I'm thinking if I put a hinge on the front here, which is going to need me to put a steel plate on there instead of one of those blocks. I can then stick the... What the heck, let's make it overly unnecessarily complicated because I keep snapping these things off. Oh, hang on, I need that to stick out a bit further. No, I grabbed the wrong thing. I'm plushy. There. That plus piston plus scanner thingy-majiggy. Fuel low. Scanner. Fuel. Where is my critical. seismometer? Okay. Health while I'm at it. Uh, ice. And if I make it this way, I should just be able to flip it up out of the way, which will make it much less likely to get snapped off when I'm driving in haste. Which is how most of the other ones ended. Because I would like to find a better iron deposit. Because I think I'm going to need that to build the conveyoring and stuff that I need around here. I need more iron. Hey, JMD. Thank you for two years. How goes the avoiding slash killing drones? Uh, the killing has gone weirdly well. And chat has been incredibly kind today for the most part. Uh, that I've ended up not having many... Well, many... Drones attack. Okay, so on my hotbar, I need a few things. Not going to set this up with any script or anything fancy. I'm just going to have it. So we've got a reverse for the hinge. A toggle on off for the piston and a reverse for the piston. Actually, I don't need a toggle on off. 
I'm going to change its um, max distance so that it should work. So I just need a reverse for that, and then a switch lock for that. And then I will turn the seismometer, turn auto lock off. Let's find the maximum distance for this piston. Get a there we go. Just so there's a little bit of lift. Perfect. Perfect. Because now when I want to stow it, I just do this. And I can drop it down. Oh, you monsters. I hear that. <sighs> Finally did it. Let's see, can I find <laughs> can I find iron while I am distracted by that horrible music. That's gold. <laughs> my turrets did it! It got shot up by my turret! <laughs> oh, that's the best. Uh, that looks like it's an iron deposit. Out that way. I think that lines up with that spike. That spike lines up with that. That's that. I think that's iron. Alright, we'll head towards that one. Need to get those pistons out of the way. Not out that way. This way. Yeah. What the? Oh! Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, did that? No, the hornet's still there. Hey, it's finally daylight. I need to get my fighter out. The potentially friend one is not so friendly. Most of the time. Go. Whoa, rockets! So only one of my turrets is firing. My No, I've got ammo. I have to do another copy paste of my grid. Thanks, Delphi! Thank you so much for the five gift subs. Also, uh please inform me whether that is Jalfi or Halfi or Yalfi. I don't know with the J. Oh, jeez. Did not expect that to be able to take off. Got it right the first one. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, Jelfi. I'll endeavor to remember that. Um, it is out of weapons, but it is still mobile. So oh, no, not anymore.
That's very dead. Give me your thrusters. Yeah, I see you, little drone face. I want your thrusters first. Inventory full. You know the goodies. Right, I think that's it. Ow! I thought I was clear. Ow. My face. My eyebrows. Yeah, if the two turrets don't fire at the next thing, I will um, copy-paste and see if it fixes it. It's for some reason, that seems to be an issue I'm having on this server. Ooh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, okay, good. They did not manage to shoot the battery. But it did manage to get stuff off on the armor covering the battery. That was lucky. Crunch. Oh, what did I just break? I just broke the thruster, didn't I? Or two. Well, there goes the loot I just collected. What was I doing before I left? Oh, that's right, looking for iron. Looking for a better iron deposit. Seeing if one even exists. Whoa! Whoa, what the- Whoa, whoa! There's a giant hole in my road! Okay, somewhere over this way is iron. No damage on the craggies. Ah, oh, yeeted that tree. Out of my way, trees. You're not stopping bullets. Don't want you there. I did forget to add the antenna. Did. That should be over the top of the iron in a second. For this, I am right on top of it. Briefly got something. Iron, 235 meters down. Yes! Alright, let's see. Also, what's coming in? No, there's just a twist. Ents will remember this. Not if they're dead. <laughs> no, uh, Demon Divus, the iron near my base isn't 150 meters. Uh, 
it's surface. Both of the ones I've marked near my base are surface ones, unfortunately. Um, what will be difficult to tell on stream is that unless I'm stopping at the time, uh, you'll get lateral distance on that marker as well, not just vertical. So it was possibly 150 meters to my right, but only 10 meters below the surface sort of thing. Um, at least if I'm, if you were looking at the same of, uh, same one that I checked out before. Now I've only marked two before now. And we've got another 140 meters to go. And there's an incoming drone. Oh dear. I should probably abandon this before I go too much. Yep. It's only got 70 meters down. It's alright. We can go take out that drone and then come back to this. This is marked. Then I should probably pick a color for my ore markers. Whoa! 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 No! Oh! No! Why? Why trees? Why do you forsake me now? Well, there goes my ore detector again. Ugh. <laughs> uh. They chose the color transparent, yes. To be fair, yes again, Nev, but to be fair, there was an invisible tree that flipped me into another tree. Ah! Oh, I sounded like TFE then. Um, that <laughs> flipped me into another tree that then flipped me and destroyed the thing. Going slower is not safer! Not when a drone is inbound. That's why I'm going quickly. I will literally be shot to pieces if I wait for the drone. Yeah, at least I have the ore marked, so I'm okay. I don't... I don't strictly need that ore detector anymore. Got the one turret fire. It's like, yep, that drone's down. All right, I'm going to take out one of the. I'm going to take out these bases, especially this one that's close enough to me. Uh, oh wait, first of all, I'm going to do this. And next. Hope that that fix my, fixes my other two turrets. Yes, the fightless fighter. It's still called fightless, isn't it? Oh, named if lives. Fightless. Now all I need to do is give it eyes that are somehow halfway between a dog's and a cat's eyes. And that vary dependent on whether the whether it's being nice or mean. Well, dog, cat, and reptile. That's what Toothless had as eyes. They would dynamically shift between each to highlight its mood. No, stop shooting the face! 
Trust us. Trust us. Trust us. Ow! Oh, that got a turret. Oh, that was close. Oh, yeah. Ah, too close. Get back. It was a lucky hit that it got on me. Ow. I also got some lucky dodges in there too. Oh great, one of my turrets is out. What? Shooting, if I tell you to shoot power, if the thing still has power. Uh-oh. Streaming. Oh. You guys do. Weapon is out of ammunition. Turret's still shooting, yes, then. Okay, does it have a remote control or is this base effectively dead, just still has turrets? It's effectively dead, just still has turrets. Cool. Let's get out of here. I need to do some repairs. <laughs> I'm still going to call that a successful run. I took out one of the bases that can actually send drones against me at home. That'll do. That'll do. Fightless is doing okay. Could be worse. Could be better. <laughs> a lot of smoke. I think that's mostly coming from the turret. I mean, it could always be worse. I could have had it destroyed entirely. It can always be worse. Thanks, Elemental. Thank you for 11 months. Yep, it's still flying. Just needs a, just needs a new paint job. It'll be right. A little bit of duct tape. We were right. I'm going to argue that I won that fight because that base can no longer call for help. I don't know that I'm going to win that argument, but that's going to be what I argue. Where's my rover? Let's go get some iron. I make sure it's in. Yes, and chat promptly tries to spawn another base against me. The light.
Thanks, Elemental. Thanks for the 100 bits. You were playing Lego Fortnite, huh? Uh oh. Ran out of battery. That's inconvenient. Uh, where is the battery? I'll put that in there. Nothing to see here. Totally not. Just gonna replace the whole battery. Do 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 do. do. Oh, what? Put it on my build plan. Do I have enough resources to make this? That's the next question. Yeah, I could have. I could put a hydrogen engine in there and put an O2H2 gen and mine some ice and do all that. I do plan to radically refit this rover soon. I just wanted to get enough iron that I could do that without it being a giant pain to build all the stuff around the base. Like, today, today's had good progress. I've got a proper refinery. I've got an actual base starting to take shape. I'm shooting up all the things that come in. It's going all right. Yes, I lost another ore detector, but let's be honest, we all expected that. Let's get out to that iron. Boom. Whoa, 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 whoa. Something is up there that's shooting that's not broadcasting. I lost my turrets. What? Oh, you've got a turret. That's not good. You are not a friend. I did hope it just take out your turret, I think. Aha, it did. Throw a grinder to the face. It was me saying I was doing well. This stuff has to go and prove me wrong. You know, Rasta. Inventory full. Get some bits back. You can just fly around out there then. My battery didn't get destroyed. My turrets didn't get destroyed. Badly damaged. Uh, no, none planned today, Beer Seeker. That's to do some editing. Come here, you jerk. Steal your more if you're thrust off. Inventory full. Inventory you know full. Inventory full. Inventory full. Inventory Wait. full. There we go. How is that not crashing yet? Weird. Pretty sure I got rid of all of its breaking thrust. See you, full. stuff. Go back and collect some more because this is actually quite productive from this guy. Oh, actually, no. You can just stay out there and be a distraction, buddy. I am going to go and collect me some iron. 
build more base. Then while I'm digging, that drone is probably going to crash on my rover. Yeah, though, Takari, while a human pilot can tolerate removal of certain angles of thrust, the drones don't tend to do so well with that. So removing its braking thrust usually means that it won't compensate and it will just crash. Especially when it's... Oh, man. These invisible trees are germs. Especially when it's pointing down and that's currently it's lifting thrust. Alright, down we go. Uh, where's the hole? Ooh. Made a small mistake. Um, let's do it this way. This will be quicker. I did not fill up my hydrogen bottle. better. I didn't fill up my hydrogen bottle so I choose to fly back? Yes. I had enough to fly back so I figured it was the quickest way to do it. Uh, it would have been funny if I was wrong in my estimate about how much fuel I needed but... When you fly with uh, inertial dampeners off with your jetpack, you can get a long way on a little amount of fuel. Normally what happens with me in that situation is I get far enough to launch my body as far as I want it to go, but I don't survive the landing. This time I got lucky. Alright, we're almost halfway down. Another 60 meters or so, I should start seeing the um, ore marker, I hope. Yeah, scroll of the carrier flight. Foiled again. I do hope that I'm right and that I've remembered correctly that the deeper ore deposits are thicker. Because if this iron deposit is just as thin as those surface ones, I'm going to be mighty frustrated. meters down something like 210 I think it was worrisome that I'm now at 185 meters and I still don't see any iron.
why you like this game. Oh. Oh, 86 meters this way. Wait, do I have a nickel deposit marked? Yeah, magnesium and nickel. At least it did show up in my drill eventually. This is when I have an internal debate of... Well, now that I'm voicing an external debate. Of... Is it quicker to fly back and forth along this 300... Almost 300 meter long hole? Or is it quicker to go and mine the poor quality surface deposit? Surface deposit probably is close enough to the surface you could use a rover miner. Oh, I'm here now. And it's a bigger deposit. Inventory full. That is a relief. Inventory full. Yeah, as everyone knows, you'll eventually spend 10 hours designing a vehicle to exploit the big one. Yeah, probably. What's in the thing? This runs away from me, rolls away from me, I'm ignoring it. Just quickly at least get rid of the beacon. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the rover and flying miner thing. Just trying to trying to think through what sort of ideas might work for the miner. Because I, I do prefer, due to the fact that it's often quite hard to navigate with a drone-based miner, like a remote control one. I, oh, what am I doing? Empty your inventory before you go down the giant mine shaft. I do prefer the idea of something with a cockpit on it, which limits how small you can go. Yeah, I think it's time for this rover that I've had for a little while to get properly rebuilt into something a little more effective. A little more purpose built. Inventory full. Inventory full. Hopefully a few thousand kilos of iron will allow me to do. After connecting the refinery up to the rest of it and moving the assembler across to the new structure. Come on. Don't die. Please don't die in a hole. I want to move fast, but I don't want to die. Inventory full. I do like wheeled mining vehicles, but at these depths, that might be a bit more pain. Sounds right up your alley. Yeah, um...
look, one of the... <sighs> I also like... I do genuinely like the idea of trying to drill some sort of spiral pathway to get down to these ore deposits. The main downside to that is I'll then spend a long time not near the surface. Like, without anything on the surface that's Inventory at risk. Full. Um, which is what makes me hesitate to try and build something like that. Plus having giant 200 meter deep mine shafts that are dotted around the landscape that I could easily end up driving a rover into could be funny anyway. a good doom hole. Yeah. I mean, I guess... I guess if I make a little minor, I could... Hmm. With how deep these holes are... I could try and have some sort of structure down here that's like a static grid-based miner with piston and hinges and rotors and such, and then use drones to ship the stuff back to base and just hope that the drones aren't out when you guys spawn something nasty against me. But I feel like I'm going to need something as an interim between now and then. And something to drill the giant path for such a vehicle to actually traverse. Ah, uh, this is not a scenario, Laney. Um, this is something I can't really make even vaguely close uh, for someone to just play at home. Because it's mostly reliant on mods that are reliant on Twitch chat. Uh, which are not public mods. Where am I going? This way. Uh, I don't really do large grid flying miners because the amount of mass Inventory you end up full. flying uh, means you need a lot of power. And can usually get enough resources from a small grid thing, so building something large grid just ends up feeling too expensive, I guess. Uh, I didn't dig straight up from the iron because of the time it would take me to dig that out. And I decided that I didn't want to spend any more time hand mining than I had to. I will dig a, a trench, like a pilot hole straight down with the flying miner that I'm about to build though. So I should have enough iron to do that. Yeah, I haven't put the plushie back on. I haven't put the block that the plushie was on back on either. Huh. So, 
I was just thinking about how in Survival Impossible I built that giant bridge. And how in the Icarus playthrough that Kamak TFA and I are doing, we're probably going to have to build a massive ramp. I wonder if there's some way to mark grids as immune from NPCs. So NPCs just would never target them. Because I feel like for that, this sort of scenario where it'd be nice to build infrastructure around the place, because I was thinking about that because that ramp, that steep hill I just went down. It would be really nice to have a way to do that. I just can't think of a way that might work. There you go. But it's something I haven't put much thought into previously, but I wonder if there is a feasible way to do that. Because it obviously then needs to be something that's not going to get shot up by your own turrets. And if it's going to be infrastructure like that, ideally it will have lights on it, which means it has batteries and or at least a power source. Which means it's something targetable, unlike, so it's not just armor blocks. Um, yeah. There must be some way to do it. my assembler. I'll put it... Uh, yep. Maybe. Maybe like this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, no. That's bad. That's right in front of my door. <laughs> there. Go there. Um, I don't think you can make... <sighs> I'm probably wrong here, but I don't think you can make factions that are neutral to the... Like, to all the NPC factions. Don't think it's possible. Or at least without... Um, with the way MES works and stuff. Because I remember saying to Lucas once I wanted to make a separate faction to assert that was neutral to assert um, and neutral to the players and he's like, yeah, you can't do that. But that might have been long enough ago that that's changed and it's now possible. Uh, the Perpetually Perturbed Pirates is changing the faction standings to the player, not between factions. It's the between factions bit that gets weird. As I understand it. Which is not very well. Yes, there are MES factions that are neutral and even potentially friendly to the player, but not to each other. Um, and for some reason there's a big difference between those two things. But yeah, just... <laughs> it would... it would greatly, um... It would greatly suit my infrastructure dreaming play style uh, for me to be able to build something that then is neutral to or while I'm building it it's neutral as well
Yeah, there we go. TFE is confirming what I said is true, and he is much more up to speed with all the MES stuff than me. The friends list feature for economy factions isn't accessible to the mod API, so all MES factions are hostile to each other. You do it manually through the admin panel panel if other faction was owned by Steve or whoever. Yeah, I guess that might be possible. Manually adjust the faction standing so that there's a separate faction that's um, neutral to all of the things. Yeah. At least for my particular uses, that might work. Keep with the same thing. Oh, cool, Nev. Yeah, if you find something that's in there that allows things to just ignore each other even if it's not actually neutral, but they're just like, no, I don't care about this grid. Match none filters action. Hmm. Because, yeah. <laughs> One of the things that always bugged me with um, Survival Impossible was that that bridge was very likely to be destroyed by a reaver eventually. It's very discouraging for building stuff like that that would be useful, but doesn't actually give you any military benefits, so... You know, I personally don't see any problem with the player having access to that stuff. Fuel low. At least in my particular Fuel critical. Because I play weird. Oh yeah, won't that wouldn't stop turrets as well, TFB, would it? And yeah, Nev, of course it's not going to um that's not gonna work unless you overwrite the mod. So So if I was playing with entirely custom mods of my own making, then that could work. There we go. Piped up assembler, refinery. Pathway to walk inside. To build some power efficiency modules onto this assembler as well as some speed. I think what I'll do first, maybe transfer all the stuff across and grind down this old base. Yeah. Inventory full. Oh, I might need more cargo space on this thing. <laughs> I've only got the one cargo container. It's probably going to be full before I finish this. Inventory full. Where shall I put a cargo? Try and build a large one somewhere, but I might shove another small one in somewhere before then. Actually, right here is probably a good spot. Somewhere else inside. Oh boy. Oh, which one of those did you guys actually do? Because you managed to perfectly match them. I 
think you got the troll -la 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 instead of best frenemies. Never I assumed um, when they when they were even on the polls, it just picked one at random or picked the first one in the list. Inventory. What's the most likely default logic in that circumstance? First in the Twitch message, probably. Yeah. Inventory full. That makes sense. Within the limits of how much this stuff makes sense to me. My very non programmer brain. The inspector. I'm very happy to be getting rid of my initial base here. <laughs> I can't... I had a few people being like, seriously, you you don't even have a proper base, you're just building on a thing. Can't you at least make something nice? And my internal monologue to that was, yeah, I should. You're right. It does look terrible. I should make something nice. I should make it feel like a home. That way I feel more connected to it. That way, when it dies, I'm even more sad. There goes that. From that temporary missile drone that I used once and actually worked. Uh, good morning, Elemental's cat. And as a were for tie five Yulio to you too. Uh, where is it? Oh, 2H2. Let's get one of these. Probably going there. Yeah. You know what, Nev? Yeah, if you want to make it run two things when there's a tie, I am... I'm on board. Because, uh, yeah, it, they've just checked the end. The first entry with the most votes wins, even if it's a tie. vote rigging ensues. Yeah. Well, if, if Nev sets that up next time, it could be possible that if you get four of them to tie, all of them will happen. I, I, I kind of like that idea. <laughs> It'll be quite hard to rig four to match. Variable difficulty settings, exactly. <laughs> to go... No, that's not the right one. I'm tempted to put the corner medical room in here. Yeah, why not? I know I've just covered up my cargo access that I'd planned here, but... It just fits so neatly. Couldn't resist. Go 
Gotta make sure it is entirely built, aside from the three medical components I will get out of the uh, survival kit. Before I move it across. I just unintentionally created a neat little spot for this. And then I'll put some stairs over here on the side here that allow you to get up to this level and then you can get up to the top of the refinery level, although the refinery has stairs, so maybe I should just have to get this. Hmm. I think about it. I need to get some cobalt. Okay, medical room, here we come. There, code change to hope SE or MES doesn't freak out when multiple things try to happen. Hmm. Yeah, that would be awkward. Not entirely unexpected, but awkward. I... When you say code updated, that won't that won't change until I do a restart of the server, will it? Uh, the server needs to have a restart before anything will actually update, I believe. Because I need to the plugin would need to be updated, so it'll be the next time I stream this, whenever that is. Love that this corner medical room has a different cargo conveyor ring. I know a lot of people are up, were upset about the idea that it's technically, under some circumstances, more useful than the other one, because the other one doesn't have it, but I kind of don't care. <laughs> I'm just glad to have a um, med bay that has a different conveyoring. Because the original one was always so annoying. And the way that that was its only attachment point as well. The light blink rate is tied to the time of day timer. That's a weird choice. How go are you? New. No. Probably disconnect this thing before I fry that all down. Just rest on your broken turrets, you're fine. weird things with time of day TFE. The time of day in Stationeers is basically a sundial. When the sun goes down, the sundial fails and instantly jumps to the middle of the night. It's causing me some headaches with the terraforming mod. Uh... That's... real weird, Nev. That's real weird. Uh, no, Fulgen never will be talking about the latest update because he's updating the um, uh, terraforming mod for that. Yep. 
yeah. Change to this way before the update. Yeah. No, I need more. No, I don't. stuff like this but it just didn't seem like it was practical for me to try and build some sort of conveyor system with how limited on resources I was okay old base is no more now how long do I have in power left from the batteries that are on this base Uh, six hours. Okay, that's with the refinery running? Yes. It's not too bad. You can work with that. I'm going to convert this conveyor into a cargo container. Whoa! Oh no. I just ground a thing I shouldn't have. Oh no. That explosion was undoubtedly me grinding either ammo or explosives. Inventory full. Inventory. Full. Yes, that there is the instant urge to undo, undo, undo. There is no undo. Inventory full. Annoying part about that, I literally just looked at the cargo Inventory of that full. connector and saw that it was full and ground it down anyway. I'd looked at it mere moments before. get back to building that battery that I was building just to extend my power a little bit further. And I should also build the power efficiency modules like I was saying on the assembler before I forget. In fact, let's not do that first. Let's do the efficiency modules first. So I'll go two power efficiency and then two speed. Should work out a lot better. Should have finished one of them before building second one. Oh. How about a power supply? Nah. Why would I want a power supply? That'd be ridiculous. That'd be sensible. Well, I'm thinking once I get this side of things sorted, then I've got the ability to... Then I'll build the mining rig that I want to build. And that mining rig should enable me to be able to um, collect enough ice that I can use hydrogen engines for power. 
And yes, I am also building my power supply a wall of batteries. True. Tractable solar panel from one of the cave entrances. That would be kind of cool. Uh, to build some sort of thing that I actually could retract. The trouble is... Um, there's almost zero chance I would actually retract it when I needed to. And so I would end up with it getting destroyed really fast. This is a case of knowing thyself and knowing that I am not going to pay enough attention to that. And also, there are too many enemy signals around that I don't think I could automate that either. I think I'd be stuck with it having to be manual. And yeah, as I said, manual, not good. Uh, no, I don't think I left uranium on this planet when I rejigged the ore supplies. I can't remember about platinum, but I don't think I left uranium. Okay, that's enough of the shell of this thing, I think. Oh, I did that very differently to what I imagined. Huh. Um. It's out. I am not going to like that these are not the same on both sides. I realized I've actually stepped this in an extra block from where I put the walkway. Okay, um... Rover designed. Let's gut this thing. Gut it down to a platform and then design a miner to sit on top of it. Thanks, Governor 1988. Thank you. So much for the two gift subs. The it's raining what drop makes more sense when I'm on the surface. Well, most of them do. When I'm underground, a lot of the drops don't do much. Unless I decide to go after them. But I don't like interrupting my build process when I'm in the middle of it. I tend to just leave things. Let me get rid of these batteries where they are and completely redesign this thing. Yeah, that's a good point. I am going to have to keep the height of the miner very carefully controlled so I can fit down my tunnels. To keep that in mind as I design it. Are you guys empty? No. All this. 
One thing I am going to do is I'm going to lift the height that the connector's at so that it lines up perfectly to the connector on the base without me needing any subgrid shenanigans. Not that I dislike subgrid shenanigans, but I just want to, I want to do it this way this time. I just want to. Safety gyroscopes. Energy Hope I don't forget low. to replace you. Sneak a drilling drone into one of the pole choices. Nav, no. Please, no. That would end me. I would be so done if that happened. Battery, cockpit, so what I'm thinking I'll do is I'll get this down to just a basic platform and then set up the platform hopefully better for carrying what I want it to carry. Under certain circumstances, I like the idea of a drilling drone, but most of the time I don't. <laughs> most of the time I'm just like, no. No, I, I want my safe place that I know is a safe place. So that when I'm not in the mood to get smashed, I have somewhere to go. First thing I'm going to do is lift the body a bit. Create a little bit more ground clearance. No energy. Get some suit energy. Fancy new medbay. Makes it so much quicker. Oh, I didn't fix my turrets. Uh, poop. Whoops. That's why the drone's surviving. This turret, the base, the battery out there is almost certainly dead by this point. tempted to do maybe a daft idea but I was tempted to put a bunch of small batteries along the bottom of this because they're heavy and it'll stop it from being too top heavy while also providing some amount of power reserve I don't want to add I guess I don't want to add too many because then it'll be Potentially too heavy to do some things, especially once it's loaded with ore. Am I going to bind the bottom to protect me from damage? No. These are going to be protecting other things from damage. Hey, Duke. Just remember to plug the poor thing in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, uh, eventually. Uh, it'll get plugged in once I have built the miner, and I'm thinking I will go out and collect ice first. 
collect a load of ice. Come back. Set up a hydrogen engine on the base. Some O2H2 gens. And have some decent power production finally. Why small batteries here? Because I didn't want to take up more than a single cube space. And will help with center of gravity stuff by having them as the lowest block on the build. Because they're fairly heavy. Um, a comment on YouTube recently said they were heavier than heavy grid. I haven't tested that, but it seems like it would be right. So when you're using heavy armor on the base of something to shift the center of mass lower, uh, batteries would arguably be more effective. So it should play that role quite well. Connection on top before I do anything with that. Uh, blast door blocks would work as well. They're not as heavy as a battery. Uh, I can say that for certain because a blast door block has about the same number of steel plate, but it doesn't have power cells, construction components, or computers. So the power cells especially, I think, would add weight beyond them for ballast effect. Uh, but yeah, blast door blocks work. I don't use blast door blocks enough. They're a good little tool for adding detail in around the place, and I, I really don't use them much. Could use them more. I think I'm done with the batteries. That'll do. The back end's gonna be heavy because it's got that's where the miner will sit. Yeah, I tend to use them for practical purposes, like uh, where they'll allow something to pass by something else. That's when I use blast door blocks, because of their collision size. Oh, right, the battery. Wheels are making a lot of noise right now. Okay. That's that front half sorted. Pretty much. Get this half block and we're good. Now I just gotta link these up and then this end will be good too. My large grid rover in Escape from Mars. Yeah, that's the sort of taking advantage of the smaller collision size situation. Fuel low. I don't know if it's in park or not. I thought I'd left the handbrake on. Fuel critical. Maybe I didn't. Ah, no, I don't want to get changed. I want to get power. And hydrogen. And I think my game may have crashed.
Yep, base engineers has crashed. Servers are okay. Oh, has Windows crashed? <laughs> uh, this isn't good. Oh, nope. Yep. Blinded by the... Yep, there we go. Graphics driver has crashed. Yeah, Shadow Flashbang. Uh, is the server okay? Let's see whether it's... Yeah, server's fine. It's useless crash error message because it isn't true 95% of the time. Indeed. we go. Oh, hopefully that's the only crash I deal with today. Yep, 5,554.9 hours of playtime. Back to construct. I'm just trying to get rid of all of these low hanging blocks. Give myself a little bit less likelihood of clipping something on a, uh, on a craggy. Help as much as I would like, but it does make a slight difference. challenge I think with this setup is where am I going to fit the cargo for all of the stuff that I mine? Don't have an answer to that right now. I'll fit the connector where it needs to be and then I'll figure out where I'm going to put the I can use a small connector for the mining vehicle, can't I? Don't have to have a big connector on it. Yeah. That'll be helpful. Layer of small cargoes all over. I'm sure it'll be great. <laughs> That's... So evil to suggest that now. I mean, I know it wouldn't be too bad if I had, like, if I have Izzy's running on it or some sort of inventory manager, but still. Eee. Gross. Just the small batteries. While true. Gross. I mean, the small batteries pain me enough. Having said that, I do want to add a lot of them to um, Capax Fighter in a set of acquisitions. Because I think it would be helpful for him. Now, will a connector work at this height? The right height. 
looks pretty good. Perfect. Nice. Yeah, a virtual merge of cargo containers would actually be quite cool. Um, so you could select a bunch of them, and when you create a group of those cargo containers, they then behave in the menu as a single entity. If you chose to do so. That would be quite, quite neat. I mean, it's it's so much, it's so much better than um, Empyreon's system. So you know, there's that. Okay. Um. Mining vehicle. How do make mining vehicle? It's not going to be too big. I'm on a breathable planet, so I don't need a fully enclosed cockpit. I could use one of the rover ones. Start maybe. maybe I'll put a little connector on here and we'll start with that. Maybe I want it underneath actually. Bearing down the middle. Man, I love having armored conveyor tubes. One of those things that... I know there were mods around for these for ages, but I never used them. But as soon as they became vanilla, I was like, yep, using these all the time. And grid attachment points all around. And a little bit stronger makes such a big difference. Did I use a mod for that? I don't think I have used a mod. I don't think I did use a mod for armored conveyors ever in a series. Or if I did, I don't remember. Uh, Javid, my graphics settings for this are everything on high with models and lighting on extreme. Which means I don't get uh, the extreme setting for models, I think, turns off uh, the LOD models. Like, I think it completely turns it off, which is... Handy, because it means I don't see the weirdness that happens with the paints. Purgatory had a mod. Oh, did it? I clearly made good use of it. Alright, so. Let's go medium cargo container onto the connector. That's not going to be high enough. But, oh, yeah, I did use it on the booze bus, didn't I? How problematic is the size of the drill going to be on this? Pretty 
pretty problematic. Give me no room for cargo on the rover if I have it at that height. Kind of needed to sit higher. This is sitting too low. I was being too efficient. Height-wise, anyway. Um... Well, I didn't need to put the conveyor in the floor. I wanted at least one block higher. Although, there's a part of me that wants to put it two more blocks higher? Yeah. Because then I can fit batteries underneath it on the truck. Like, full-size batteries. But, I could also rip this out and do something really dumb and put cargo where it can easily get hit. Because that always works out well. I'm thinking I can do this. Some medium cargoes in the bottom. Spin that one around, that can be the mounting point for the connector. I'm not going to put the miner too high. I don't think it will. I think it'll be okay. Um, the reason not to put... The reason I wasn't originally putting this here is irrelevant so let's do it because yeah that does make more sense i was thinking it might be nice having the conveyor the connector in the clear so that it doesn't um i don't hit stuff but it's probably fine here Uh, I mean, Javid, you can run Space Engineers in 100 at 120 FPS. Doesn't really matter if you do, because the physics updates are limited to 60. So stuff only moves at 60 updates per second. A green drop means if I'm... It means there are probably some... There's probably something floating about up there. Could be worms, could be anything. Back to cargo container. Yes, you gave me worms. <laughs> probably. Uh, I don't need these to be huge. I don't need this to have a lot of cargo storage. I'm going to try and start small. Just have one medium cargo. And then we'll go. Maybe just two drills. And that'll buffer. And which control seat? Rubber cockpit? Buggy cockpit? Buggy. It's going to really upset some people, which could be funny. Because um, <laughs> it's going to be asymmetrical, but not by a lot. Um, 
Yeah, it'll be fine. Go the saddle. That was got passed through. This work. Just gonna look. Little saddle cockpit, triple drill. Yeah, I think that'll be all right. I'm going to have to pipe up from the back of these drills because I've offset them slightly to make it look a bit more interesting. Fuel low. Eh. Oh. Fuel Oop. critical. So hard to get through those gaps in the railings. Excuse me. <laughs> Oi. Ah. Yeah, do I want to break Shadow by putting a 2x2 two two cockpit on a center symmetrical design otherwise? I think I might save that for RVs at war. Pretty sure if I do that, I will have a refinery dropped on my head. Yeah, exactly, Shadow. May save it for the series where you're actually present. Where's the fun in doing these things when you can't get back at me for it? Feels too easy. Okay, um... Now, how do I want to pipe this, and do I want to try and add more, more cargo? Could put two more medium cargos on it. Do have to remember I need thrusters on this too, and it's going to be pretty big. Maybe I won't do that. It's trying to keep this small. Temptation to go big with mining ships is always an issue for me. Can I use the flat mows in any useful way on this? Am I charging those small batteries? No, no, they are just as is. I'm going to add some big batteries to the rover, but I wanted the miner built first before I started messing around with that. Now, I want to put the batteries on the side here, I think, because if I put them on the rear, I will definitely smack them against something. So we'll put batteries in there now. I don't actually have any power source on the base, so I'd just be stealing power from the batteries, so I haven't been... I'm not connecting it to steal that power yet. reason I think Shadow hasn't shot me to get my skull in Station Ears in the Terraformer series is because she knows how hollow that skull collection would be if it were through such nefarious means. Alright. Uh, lifting bro. 
thrust. I think for lifting thrust, I'm going to have to go regular thrusters and probably squeeze a bunch of them in here on the side. Actually, it's, it's a little bit. Oh. Hmm. See how this looks next to the cockpit. I move these out, and then put the thrusters between. A little different. Especially if there were a hole going through it. Yeah, what a waste of a skull that is. Even if it's yours. Yes. Even if it's mine. Interesting, and then I can put some down the side here too. Not sure how many I'm going to need. I think if I get maybe eight or nine of them, it probably will be okay. And then I've just got to figure out the lateral thrust and then an ejection system. Electrical symbols are pointing opposite ways. What? What? Oh! The, ba the batteries? No, the batteries are symmetrical. I don't know what you're talking about, Elemental. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I did that. Call that an oopsie. That probably won't get fixed. Those resources. And funny. Do I fix this to make them match? How nice am I going to be? Thanks, Steinmei. Thank you for 25 months. It is going to bug me. It's true. Um, Energy low. How much it would bug me would depend on how much I'm, I'm going to end up covering those up. Because they're probably going to get quite covered up by thrusters and things. Wait, did I put... No, I didn't put improvised experimentation on this, so I can't. I wonder how long that's going to take to get shot up by a drone. <laughs> yes, that is the revenge. Well played.
need to make some um, animated emotes that are the Space Engineer's character doing dances. That's what I need to do. When I magically find the time to it, to do it. Energy critical. What's that? Twelve lifting thrusters. That should be enough. That should be fine. One that matches the with the fun music tempo. I mean... Oh, hang on. Oh, it gets rid of the Space Engineer's music when I do this. For me, the little dinosaurs that you guys have in chat... Oh no, they're a little bit too quick. It's pretty close, but it's not quite right. The dino is a little bit too quick. I'm going to do two things. I'm going to fix this battery. No energy. And then I'm going to go shoot that thing. <laughs> no. I'm pretty hurt this time. It was hot. Oh, it must be weather. Yeah. Immediately in a cave, so can't tell what the weather is most of the time. Apparently, for some reason, it's not a storm. Huh. No, my visor's been shut the whole time. Shouldn't have been that. Right. I'll just do this. For the reverse thruster mount. go deal with the music in a second. I'm intentionally using the not flat mows right now because I want more thrust in these directions than the flat mows provide. Uh, but for left and right, I might be able to squeeze on a bunch of flat mows to get that without increasing the size of this much more. This is pretty compact by my standards so far. Uh, I'm planning on going straight down when I mine down, but with right-click mining, I should just be able to spin on the spot and drill a fairly fairly straight mine shaft without needing to point. It might just be hot because it's daytime. That is fine. <laughs> so satisfying. Oh yeah, I haven't put gyros on it yet. Thank you for the reminder. I 
I did blow away some of my ceiling. I still say it was worth it. <laughs> it's much more satisfying doing that than just grinding it down. Spectacle. It matters. Three gyros, am I mad? No. I probably don't need that many, but, you know. It looked nice. Alright, that's... Then we need some... Opposing thrust. Just go with the same. Yeah. I just need some lateral. Down thrust to help with turning over. No. No down thrust. No down thrust on atmospheric miners. The waste of mass. Every time you add a down thruster, you have to have more lifting thrust to counteract it. I will concede, down thrust on space miners. Helpful. It's exceptionally rare that I end up upside down with um, miners in gravity these days. Uh, more often than not, it's I mine too much and I don't have enough lift. That's my usual problem. Okay, forward, reverse, lift. Need left and right. Got gyros, got power. Need ejectors. So, let's set up an ejection system. Do this. Do it on this bit. Solder in there. Or we go solder then conveyor converter and put a whole bunch <laughs> spraying out from that. Yeah, do that. That works. Uh, large thrusters will increase the profile and... Good girl, good girl Charlie, sleeping through that dog barking. Um, large thrusters will make this too big. That's why I'm using smalls. Like, physically, the, the dimensions, I can't sneak them in to keep this with a... Like, this is low, quite low from top to bottom. It's quite small. And large thrusters would mess with that. That'd also make it wider and longer and stuff, so that's why I'm using smalls. Uh, they are less power efficient in this setup, but that's not a big deal. I'm tempted to put a connector on there instead. Full-size connector. Is that going inter to interact with the large grid connector and be annoying? Just won't let me place it. So that would have been perfect. This large connectors, like the full size connectors, do ejection so much quicker. Oh. Do it the way I was thinking before. Something different.
Do, do, do. And I'll leave the sideways ones off for now. I was tempted to put them on all the four spots around, uh, but this way I've got room to place down side mounted thrusters and things like that that may be useful. I know I need side thrust. I know. I wanted the ejection system on before I put side thrust on. Because it might have created some space for me. Thanks to Killjoy. Thank you for the two subs. The gift subs. The two gift subs. If I can form Energy a complete low. sentence. Yeah. Yeah, so if I find out that I need more lift for this, I can now put extra thrusters in here if I want to. But I could also use this as a place to put lateral thrust if I want to use full-size thrusters rather than flatmos. But I think I'm going to use flatmos mounted like this. But flatmos. No. Small. There we go. Side thrust. And the big flat mode was just a bit too big. What I wanted. Yes, little CPU fans, exactly. Energy Perfect critical. for a laptop. Like the sort of thing you buy from Amazon and then regret. I like that look. Yeah, it's cooling for the batteries. That's what they are. No energy. And... Power, I really love having a med bay. Should give myself uh, more med bays when I do my start conditions for various scenarios. <laughs> Although, what I'll probably then end up doing is grinding the med bay down to make multiple survival kits. That's why I can't give myself nice things. Pretty good. If I if I wanted to, I could probably also um, put flat mows on the back here. But I feel like they stick out a little too far. Though it wouldn't look too bad against the ejectors if I did them like that. The lift. But I don't need I don't think I need them, so I'm gonna leave it off. Alright, so we have left, right, forward, back, up, gravity does down, we've got drills, we've got ejectors, I've got to set up the sorter system, but the mining rig is done. Now I need to be mindful of the fact that I've got thrusters near the center body of this, so that could cause damage to the truck. Oh uh, yeah, and lights, that'd be helpful. Let's do lights before I do the truck. Fuel low. Did the gyros make it back onto the truck? No. Fuel critical. Are uh, the flat out most part of a DLC? I think so. Chat, correct me if I'm wrong. I 
know. Hmm. Where on earth am I going to stick lights? Are you useful? Oh yeah, here we go. Is that going to be useful? Is that that's probably not going to be useful. Part of the update, not a DLC. Oh, I mean, I can check. What am I doing? Uh, if we go to atmospheric thruster, yeah, they've got no DLC icon, so they are vanilla. Makes sense that Keen wouldn't have made them uh, DLC. Not like them. We'd like them to do it and then have backlash and then change it because they are pretty good at responding to community upset fuel low auto detector yeah i probably should put an auto detector on fuel critical should Uh, when I say keen respond to frustrations from the community, I mean in terms of they tend to respond to stuff about DLCs. Other incomplete systems that have been incomplete for near for most of the decade the game's been out. Not so much. Lights. Still trying to figure out where I can put lights. I think I might do this. Pretty well. Now we're going to need some surrounding lights, that area awareness. all I need. stuff around the place. Not too much. Don't want to waste too much mass on armor. Considering I don't even waste mass on down thrust, but I feel like armor's more valuable to me than down thrust. <laughs> right, go. Miner complete. And sort out this sorter. Turn it off. Drain all on. White list. Stone. These. Oh, I'm going to need to label these.
Connector, throw out on, collect all on. There we go. Thanks, Elemental. Uh, I presume you mean TFE's uh, Caves MES mod, which he made uh, sort of inspired by me building a cave under here with voxel hands. Uh, I've messed around with it a bit, yeah. It doesn't do anything that I would be looking for right now. Um, because I'd probably mostly just do stuff with voxel hands instead. But I think it's a great way for people to be able to get a cave to start off their game um, without having to mess around with voxel hands because I have messed around with voxel hands a lot and it's a painful process. Uh, oops, if you're ever looking for the amount of thrust you get out of a thruster to compare different ones. Uh, if we go by type thruster in. So we go flat atmospheric thruster, we'll turn it off, and then we push the thrust override up to its maximum. This produces 32 kilonewtons of thrust. Now turn it back on. We grab a regular thruster, and this one produces 96. Exactly three times as much, because it takes up three times as much space. Uh, you can do that with any combination of different thrusters and see how much they put out. If you have the build info mod, it will also tell you it over here. But the way I just showed you is the completely vanilla way. Um, and you can also see this as a max usage with build info of 600 kilowatts versus the flat ones, which is 200. So it's exactly a third. So you can compare all your different thruster types that way. Between hydrogen, ion, whatever. Uh, they will show you their thrust output at current conditions. So if you're using ions in Atmo, it'll show you their in Atmo thrust. Yeah, there you go. Hopefully that's useful. I'm not putting that cargo contender there. That just feels way too sketchy. What I am going to do is put another one of those there, like that. And then another one here, like this. I don't know why I'm using conveyor converters. Uh, I probably could just do that with regular piping. In fact, I should. Can do this. TPs. And I can put a conveyor converter on there, and it's all a bit more compact and nice and neat. And then I can put a floor back on the rover. Put cargo all the way along. And then we can put batteries as well as additional cargo on the sides. Now, are those cargoes lined up with thrusters? No, they are not. Yes. Good. Cargo has the small connector, why use the converter? Because uh, I wanted the cargo containers to align down the length of my vehicle. So it looks nicer. I didn't want them running sideways. Aesthetics. Pretty much. No, no. The small connectors, just like large connectors, just like large grid connectors, do have attachment points on their side. The large grid connectors only have it on two sides, but 
The small grid ones have them on all sides, so it's super easy to do disconnections like this. And safe. I did have a moment's pause before I ground the block it was connected to off, going, this does have a connection, right? I'm not misremembering this, right? But no, I was right. I was correct. Yeah, I don't like a hundred small car guys. Blech. Gross. <laughs> I figured, you know, we got eight medium cargo containers on this rover. For how much resources I've been using so far, I think this will do all right. Obviously, as soon as you get more resources, you use more resources, so, you know, there's that. Holy cow, there are a lot of things up there. I'm going to need to repair my fighter and go up there and check it out. Before I take my rover out. Last thing I need to do is pop some more gyros. Well, the two things. Pop the gyros back on the rover. Wait, why can't I place that? Oh, I didn't grind that out. There we go. It's the big connector pipe to the cargo. It is via small conveyors because this is a mining transport. It doesn't need to have large ports connecting everything up. I can get away with smalls. That off. Just in case I decide to add O2H2 gens to this. May as well pipe up the cockpit. Although I'm in atmosphere rich planet, so it shouldn't matter. Hmm. Maybe I should do this. O2H2 gen on both sides. There you go. Hydrogen engine. I can put batteries at the rear. I did... Uh, I was meaning to put batteries up front because they're heavy. And this thing's going to be pretty rear heavy. As the connection point is basically over the rear axle, which isn't great. I really should have that connection point further forward. But... Um, it is what it is. Or an opportunity here. Go there. Quite neat. And they're still clear of the thrusters, at least if I perfectly align myself, which I probably won't most of the time, so I'm going to have to be really careful not to cook this thing. Then I'll be able to stick batteries up front. And probably align them wrong again. Um. Oh, I know what I should put. <laughs> I should put blast door block. Um, where the thrusters are. Just to, just because I always forget to build them, and we mentioned that today. Uh, what am I doing? Ice.
Oh, yeah, the plushies could go under the thrusters. That'd be perfect. That's what you meant, right? I could have the engines on the rear here. Sneak an engine in here instead. Think about the engines in a sec. I can probably fit them on top of the front, actually. I go with batteries and we do... One of these fellas. And then one of these... I've already forgotten which way, what I had pointing out of the previous battery. Yeah. That. Oh no, what have I done? I think it needs to go that way. I think that's right. I don't know anymore. Uh, the O2H2 gens should be lighter most of the time than the batteries, uh, which is why I wanted the batteries up front. I figured I put the heavy batteries up front and they'll always be heavy, much like the rover, uh, the flyer is always heavy. Uh, whereas the mass in the O2H2 gens is more dynamic and so shouldn't be as heavy as the batteries most of the time. And I do also have all of the little battery batteries up front, so hopefully they'll make some impact. Now let's find out. Did I mess this up? Did I, in fact, mirror it properly? I mirrored it properly. It's a mirror. Oh, if I had to do it again, I'd put the dots on the outside, not the inside. the idea of them sitting up the front here, but I'm just not sure how I'd want to convey that into place. Uh, yeah, that should be alright, actually. Go up and over the top. Give the cockpit some little shoulders. Yeah, it's been sparking at the connector for ages. It's fine. It'll be fine. Yes, it's a Christmas mirror. Cool. Hmm. I feel like I feel like that's exactly the right place for a bad pun because it's like the terrible ones that come in the. Christmas bonbon things. Christmas crackers. This is, um, be happy with this. Really happy with how this has come together. Um, no, James, uh, no. I know some people are of the opinion that adding landing gears to a connection makes it more stable. I 
tend to disagree with that and feel that it makes it worse. So, when you have one connection between a pair of grids, you have one connection point. So, there's no way for you to have phantom forces being applied across that joint. Because there's only one. They can't be misaligned in some way that makes makes the game want to um, push across that joint. So I prefer to just have a single attachment point because I think most of the time it ends up being safer. It's, it's not something you will run into as a problem all the time. It's just something that you can run into a problem with. And so I avoid it. I have no idea what is being pointed out about the flatmos, but they look fine to me. Yeah. You're actually putting engines next to your cockpit, your four is. Yeah, I am. I am doing that. I was thinking about that as I did it too, and I was like, oh well. It is what it is. cockpit piped up at this point? No. <laughs> no, it's not. The cockpit is not piped. Uh, but I'm on an atmosphere of rich planet, so it's not, it doesn't need to be. Might want to turn the vent controller on to turn the engine on when you are not in the cockpit. Yeah, maybe. Maybe the engine can turn on when the miner disconnects. Oh, man. Well. I have no idea what you're talking about, not Mr. Fun. Oh, you're talking about this bit here. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Why would look best with that? That. That is a subtle thing to notice. Especially on stream. Shadow has found a worthy opponent. <laughs> okay, I think I'm just going to leave this space empty for now. Uh, because... I want to leave myself the option of putting stuff in there later. I'm just going to build this deck underneath. We all noticed we just didn't want you to get mad at us. <laughs> Flash, deliberately leave it because I've been told. I haven't been doing that too much lately, I feel. The only particularly egregious one was the one that um, I did in um, Dyson Sphere program. That was the only bad one I did. That. Put the grabber in the weird spot and didn't bother fixing it.
Okay. Um. Cool. Let's go mining. I guess. Wait, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> Let's not go mining while there are still bad things out there. I assume there are so many red markers up there. I just need to check. Fidget doing. Take that, and I'll take that. Inventory full. Oh! Oops. Forgot to turn my dampeners back on. Wow, there's a worm. There's a worm, it's eating my body. Give my body back. Body go. Jeez. How much health does this thing have? Oh, there we go. It's ridiculous. I know I missed a lot, but I still hit enough that that, that had a lot of health. Yeah, that was a special gift from uh, Chipsticks. A Christmas present, if you will. Yeah, I should have walked without rhythm. Whoa! Let's take that. And that. Fuel low. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, I turned off my jetpack before it was critical. Well. It said three when I turned it off. Oh, come on. So rude. Yep, no ice to in bottle. Let's fix that. Also, I'm gonna get rid of a hundred and something of those magazines. I have way too many. I think 172 of magazines is just too much. Oh, fidget gonna crash? No. Okay, I don't think I have to worry about that fidget. I don't think I have to worry about anything that's out here right now, so I am going to go and mine. Land you before I use up all your power. Bother. So, first thing to collect is iron. I want to at least do one mining trip today. This thing. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, that's very annoying. <laughs> Camera. Okay. 
Nope, it's going to kick me straight back. I have to drive from kind of above. Because the miner is messing up my camera. Uh... It's not good. The miner's thrusters are on, but the miner is, has its dampeners off, so the thrusters won't be doing anything. Oh yeah! Thank you for the reminder about the ice. I do want to do ice first. It's a good point. One of these is it? It's gonna be seven. Fuck tools, drill. Sorta. Of. Toggle on off. Toggle you on. Gyros will tone down a bit because yikes, they are a bit too much. Zero point six. Am I ignoring blueprints on purpose? Maybe. And I'm almost already full. No, oh, it's actually mostly ice. That was very fast. Now we go... Oh, I need to rename all the stuff on the miner. Um. Loaded. Let's go again. Yeah, it dropped quite low just then. That was disconcerting. There is a Raider drop pod inbound. Ah, you monsters. It's right there. How am I meant to do this? Ah! Ah! Shooting! Come on, you jerks. Come this way. Go drill the bots. No! Oi! Bots! This way! I'm going to war with my mining ship. Shot the other one in the back. Ow! Ow! Drop a refinery scaffold on them. They're a bit too far away. Closer? Maybe. Two down. Nice. Now I can get back to mining some ice. 
and taking it home and getting power from it. Yay! Got the same. I think that's the one that's leaving. Oh, I didn't offload this. Whoops. Yeah, I don't know what the drop pod's doing up there, but maybe I should go grind it. Although I imagine it's going to disappear in a second. Plenty of lift. I could take more cargo. That Raider pod is just flying about up there. Hmm. Wonder. That's all to go see. I could get one of the things. Wait. Is that the dead fidget? That's... I think so. If I can get one of the cryopods, I'll be right. Jimmy, I don't run out of jetpack juice before then. Goodies. Wait, those not so goodies. Inventory full. Alright, that's all I can get. Got two. Eh. Something. Uh, cool. Let's take this home. I hope I don't crash. The new camera rules around ex attached vehicles are um, a problem for this design of rover. Considerable problem. And we sure this is splitsy, didn't run over a single tree there, and I managed to um, find my way back to the rover without getting lost. Both of these things happened in quick succession, too. Oh, giant hole! Um, what? I don't. What? Hitting me. Interior plate. Fine. Let's open that. Sure do. Enough. Get through. Yep, we're good. Uh, 
Huh. Just had a horrible thought. How would this go with forced first person? And can the Twitch integration force first person? Those suspensions are right on the ground. Hey. Yep. And locked. Ice delivered. Cool. I think um I think I'm pretty happy with that as progress for <laughs> today. Uh, I'm gonna wrap up here. I will be back on what is for me the second of January, which is a Tuesday, not my usual Monday, uh, in the new year. Uh, I hope you guys have a great New Year celebration if it's a thing you do, or just a chill diet if that's what you want to do. Uh, but yeah. I will, I'll be back then, that's in like three days or something. I will update my schedule just after this stream, so if you're wondering when that works out for you in local time, check on there in the next half hour or so and I'll have it up to date. Yeah, I'll be back with that, there'll be more, uh, Collector this weekend? I think it's Collector week this week. And more of other stuff streaming next week. On the Tuesday I'll probably do either Kerbal Space Program or Dyson Sphere Program. Haven't decided which, but it'll be one of those. There's all that and plenty more to come. And I will see you in 2024. Bye everyone. <laughs>